Well, hello everybody, and welcome to another live stream. Why is my camera frozen? That's weird. That's weird. Let's try reactivating that. Hmm. Ah. Uh, yeah. There we go. Um. Cool. Hello everybody. Uh, welcome to another live stream here on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Cardini, or I suppose, I suppose maybe I should say, hello governor, because um, today we're off to, uh, we're off to London, we're off, well, I'm already in London, but we're off to, to oldie timey London for a little bit of ravenous devils. Uh, what is ravenous devils? Uh, well, you might ask. Well, now, it's a business simulator of sorts. Um, we're about to uh, take charge of a, a loving couple, a couple that adores one another. And uh, they run two businesses, one above the other. Uh, upstairs, there is a, a, a tailor's uh, outfit, uh, outfit, tailor's shop, where people can get measured for, um, for outfits. And uh, below, there is a pie shop where people can buy tasty meat pies. Uh, below that, there is a basement. We won't worry about that too much for now. Uh, we'll just jump straight in. Um, you should be able to hear the game sort of like burp, 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 in the background there. I'm going to turn it up ever so slightly. I'll keep an eye on it. Do let me know if the, um, if the audio mix is all right. But um, yes, uh, let's jump straight into this perfectly ordinary game. It's about cannibalism. It's about cannibalism. Let's let's go. <clears throat> Christopher Needham says. I barely oh. slept while we were on the train. My thoughts kept me awake with a burning fever to see our new home. My wife Hildred and I decided to move suddenly. She hurriedly packed our luggage, taking only what was strictly necessary. We cut a good deal buying this place near the river, which had previously been owned by a well-known barber in the town. Oh? This house is surprisingly large. There's enough space on the ground floor to turn it into a beautiful pub, while downstairs in the basement there's already a large, cozy kitchen. I can't wait to get to know my new customers. I've always enjoyed watching people eating the meals I've cooked for them lovingly. My husband, Percival, has cleaned the first floor and set his room up for business. A fancy tailor shop. <laughs> it won't be long before we see the women from the local district showing off the beautiful outfits he has made for them. We are going to bring home the gold with our business. You may wonder what the secret behind our success is. Our loyal clients, obviously. Fantastic people. I feel kind of sorry about killing what we have decided to use an unusual ingredient in our specialties as a result of the insanely high meat prices due to sheer hunger or simply because it tastes so delicious human flesh is highly appreciated we do not know the reason why and we don't really care Ah, uh, but don't worry. We don't waste anything. Even their clothes are cleverly reused by Percival. They just need a little patching up and then they are ready for sale again. At full price, of course. <laughs> we are working so damn hard to do things right and earn as much money as we can. Yes, we are! Um, the voice acting is, is completely off the wall in this, uh, as you may have realised, but... Um, Yes, uh, the good news is uh, a lot of it, 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 they don't narrate everything. Um, a good point from Pensword14 who says, you know, if they moved into an infamous barber shop, people might be sus about another meat pie shop. Indeed. Um, but they are close to the river, which kind of makes sense because Fleet Street isn't far from the Thames. Anyway, uh, Alex Simpkin says, this doesn't seem very vegan. Not at all. Um, and Corio Malayam has done a super chat saying, Hi, Johnny and Skelly. He's going to be rejoining the stream later after I get off work. Boo, work. So, uh, I'm just going to make one tiny adjustment to our setup here. I'm just going to hoik myself up the screen a bit so you can see this bit of the, the HUD, which just shows you who I'm controlling. Uh, and obviously, you can see this stuff up here, which will come in handy later. Uh, Garina Rain has done a super sticker of a, a pear. 
Uh, not just any pair, a pair that appears to be uh, sentient and uh, bloodthirsty, uh, which is um, uh, fitting, given the game, uh, because the pair is standing there with a wicked grin on its face, kind of at a far remove, and then occasionally just thrusting a cup of blood toward the screen, which is um, alarming, to say the very least. Thank you very much, Green Rain. I really appreciate it. Brandon Myers says, quick question, which is better, VA, Assassin from the Golden City or this? I mean, the, for the Forgotten City Assassin will forever have a place in my heart. But for the time being, we're running out of meat fast, she says. The people in this town are like hungry dogs. They're hungry! <laughs> At least this means that moving here was the right choice. We'll get rich. Not too fast, darling. We must keep a low profile and work hard. You know all too well how much we are risking. Yes, I know. You don't have to keep repeating that. Throw this corpse down into the kitchen. I'll take care of it. All right. Let's grab this poor wretch. I can't do that for long. That hurts. Uh, sooner or later, I'm going to end up breaking my back. Um, Matt Wetton has done a super chat saying, we'll be VOD Squad again today. Are still working nights. Johnny, do you have the Blood Bowl novels? I have a spare copy. If you don't, I'm very happy to send it to you as I'd like to see it go to a good home. I don't, I believe. Um, I don't know if I'm if I'm round, if I'm going to get round to reading them anytime soon, though. So don't do, do not feel like you have to post them to me. Um, also, did I already read the super chat from Coriomalayam? I think I did, but it says, Hello, Johnny and Skelly. He's going to be rejoining the stream later after I get off work. Boo. Work. Yes, indeed. Right. Oh, and Semantic Poetry has done a super chat saying, The perspective gives me real This War of Mine vibes. The pie of mine... This pie of mine? Murder edition? It is very different to This War of Mine. Uh, because, you know, we're definitely not the good guys here. Anyway, right. couple of sneezes out the way. Let's grab this poor wretch. Now I need to throw the corpse through the trap door. It'll be in the kitchen in no time. Here we go. Trap door. Very handy. And... Womp! Ding! Finally, fresh meat, she says. The trap door is working brilliantly. Yeah, it's a trapdoor into a fucking shaft. It's not rocket science. Anyway, it's time to stock up on some minced meat. Uh, Titan Uranus says, uh, this pie of mints in a super chat. Very good, Titan Uranus. This new meat grinder is great for larger prey. Let's grab the corpse. Oh, by the way, uh, just a little sneak preview of um, now it's time to grind. She I respect the grind. I respect the hustle. You know, they're just trying to make their way in the world with side jobs. Um, now we've got some fresh meat. Uh, and we've got recipes, look. I should take a look at my grandma's recipe book. I'll also be able to add all my future recipes to it. Grandma was a real fucking artisan in the kitchen. As you can see here, you can make meat into cooked meat. And uh, if you have meat and wheat, you can make pie. Thank God for Gram Gram. She really saved us there. Oh, look. <laughs> I didn't see this before because I, I tried this game for 10 minutes the other day. The secret ingredient is crime. Absolutely outstanding. Uh, Mankoy has done a super chat saying, I've been on VOD Squad since my, since my defense, so I'm sending something to celebrate my first stream as Dr. Mankoy! Um, and then I think I'm supposed to know what the melody to this is, but I don't. Uh, it, but it's a song, and the song lyrics are, I am a real doctor, and I am a real worm. I am an actual worm. I live like a worm. Either way, congratulations, Dr. Mankoy. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, right. We'll need flour and minced meat to make a delicious meat pie. I can already smell it cooking. Let's take one of the ingredients. Take some of this meat here. There we go. Uh, we put it down there, and then now the other one. Here we go. Look. Oh, it's they might be giants. Okay. Now look. Uh, we've see we've got a pile of meat here and a pile of flour here. Pick it up. Slam it in the oven. Baking time. Baking time. 
And uh, as soon as that progress bar is full, by making some changes, she could cook faster. Or we could fix these other two other two ovens, though we'd need more money for that. We'll try. We'll work that out later. The meat pies are looking golden brown. Time to take them out. Golden brown, texture like thumbs. So, now, it's, this is the best thing about it. It's a self-service pie shop. So we just tell her to let's fill it. And then... do 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 Pies. All set up. Um, what I was going to say before a super chat came in uh, earlier was... Uh, we're pretty much guaranteed a doorbell ring, uh, just to get that out out the way uh, quickly. Uh, I have a parcel arriving. They're about six stops away. Uh, I hoped they'd get here before the stream, but they haven't, so look forward to that. Um, watch me rush to the door, I guess. Uh, right. Uh, Silwa, meanwhile, has done a super chat saying, Hello, we'll be listening to this while I'm building an orchid out of Lego. That's delightful. I'm building a crime empire. I wonder if my husband is ready too. He has to clean up that mess on the floor. Take a look. Up we go. It's a bloodbath. I have to clean this up. No one can come up here until there's no blood left on the floor. That is avoiding getting arrested 101, my friends. Let's get the mop to clean it up. It's like watching the first season of The Wire for the first time. There's blood everywhere. Watch the first season of The Wire. You're like, I think I know how to run a crack operation now. Anyway, I stole some clothes earlier. The display mannequin in exposition isn't dressed. Here it is. Uh, I could patch up some of the stolen clothes and resell them. Uh, Dr. Mankoy says, don't waste the blood. Black pudding. Good point. At a steep price, of course. Waste not, want not. This may be a humble shop, but I'm a professional. Back to business. Let's take a stolen cloth from that pile. Do you have to call it stolen cloth? Now it's time to give this new sewing machine a whirl. Here we go, look. He's sewing without the use of his hands. God knows what he is using, but anyway. Co coordination and cooperation are the core of our business. I should adjust the timing of my work according to Hildred's needs. The clothes are finally ready. Let them put, let's put them on the mannequin. Okie dokie. So, it's really warm. As our uh, murderous friend intimated, this game is a lot about uh, making sure that you've got one person doing something while you're focusing on the other one and trying to time it correctly so that you can kill as many people as possible, make them into pies, sell those pies, but also repurpose their clothing into new clothing and sell that to make more money. Uh, everything seems to be set ready. That perfectly normal catchphrase in London. Why, everything seems to be set ready, Gav. So now we can welcome our customers. Open the shops. My dear customers, please come inside. Take what you desire. It's lucky that I filled the display stand. Otherwise, they'd have been waiting while I was cooking. Every meal has a different price. I cannot give it away for free after all. I'll mark them differently from one another in the recipe book. They will pay a lot for my delicious meals. Oh, it seems like someone is looking for a new outfit. <gasps> my God, you never know if your work and style will be appreciated by people. They bought it. Always keep in mind to do the best job you can. We don't want bad reviews getting out. Ha, on what? Yelp? Ha ha ha. I have an appointment pretty soon. I need to take a client's measurements. Wait for the client to arrive. Okay. Well, this looks like the client. Garina Rain says, I have to admit, I thought the tailor end was going to be even more gruesome. Yeah, he's not making skin clothes, at least. Now we are alone, and I can provide Hildred with some more meat. So you just, you simply click on the lady, and the man will kill the lady. I'll take these clothes. You won't be needing them anymore. Let's throw the corpse down into the kitchen. There's blood everywhere. There's blood everywhere. The nice witch says simply, skin clothes with a little smiley face. Ugh, he grunted weirdly. So now more clients are coming. We must be ready. Yes, yes, yes. Right. You need to do some mopping, my good sir. Hildred, 
Where have you gone? Right, so he's cleaning the blood. Hildred! Yep, put that there. You've got enough to make another batch of pies before you have to grind up another person, which is great. You put that in there. Meanwhile, you, sir, need to make more clothes. <clears throat> he grunts. Because look, we're out of bloody meat pies! This poor sod's going to be... Oh, wait, hang on. Hello, sir. I'll be right with you. Pardon me, sir. I'm just going to put that... Right, and then pies go there. And then we need to kill this man. Go on, buy some pies. Do, 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 do. Cheerful Spider says, I'm trying to sneak around, but my pies are dummy thick. <laughs> Corpse goes in the thing. Mm, he grunts. Right, Hildy. Get, get yon corpse, please. Here we go. Yeah, mop, please. Hildy, that goes in there, doesn't it? Right. Hello, madam. Please buy some pies. Good. Oh. Ah, it's grim. <laughs> it's really grim. Chris Rakowski says, Don't worry, sir. I'm sure the suit will be to die for. Mankoy makes a good point. Sorry, excuse me. Dr. Mankoy says, also, am I missing it? Or are these people you're killing universally carrying no cash on them? That does sort of seem to be the case, doesn't it? Right, anyway, get a move on, Hildy. We've, we've sold our last pies. It's gonna, oh, no, that man's going to leave. That might give us a bad review. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Well, that man's just... No. Oh my god, that other guy bought the thing before him. He's going to be furious. Shit. Quick, 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 quick. Make the clothes, make the clothes. Hildy, put the pies out, put the pies out. It's stressful being a murder couple. Don't measure the lady. Get the clothing. He's leaving. Come on, come on. Moving there. Sir, 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 sir. I've got clothes for you. Cock. Uh, Hildy. Well, at least we can get a... I need a piece of fabric to work with the sewing machine. Well, pick it up then, you bastard. I clicked on the fucking cloth. Oh, you're a knobhead. The nice switch says, another wholesome stream then. Yeah, yes. You know, it's just business as usual. Oh. Hello, Governor. Crump. Good Lord. Oh, get the flower, Hildy. As fast as I can. No, you fucking. Ah, oh, you knobber. A random mail says, Johnny is so stressed already. I should say that I have a lot of dreams, uh, like stress dreams, I should say, where uh, the dream begins and somebody has already died. Uh, and I... Oh, I'm covering up another bit of the bloody UI, aren't I? I'll do that. Um, somebody... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Excuse me, sir. Stay out. Uh, somebody has... Um, is dead, and I have to hide the body. Like, I've not definitely killed them as far as I know, but I do know that, like, they're dead, and I'll be in trouble if I don't do something about it. Anyway, there's blood everywhere. Right, he'll do. He'll do. Stick him up there. Up there. Yep. That's a... That's, that's a gal. That's a gal. Talman says sold. I'm downloading now. Excellent. It's really warm. Hildy! You've got another corpse to grind. Uh, yeah, this game is also like four pounds. Go on. Ah, uh, it's so horrible. Compels me, though. Oh, hello. And that's all of our objectives for the day. 
Starting over is never easy. There are a lot of improvements that need to be made. I wrote this list of things we need to do to improve our business. That, this way we'll serve as many customers as possible with fancier shops. Let's see what we can improve. Okay, let's click on Upgrad. Brandon Myers says, I'm sorry, are they grinding the bones into the pie too? Oh yes, and the hair and the teeth and all of the organs. Okay, so, let's see now. We've, we have a meat grinder. We could make steaks. Unlock a table to make some steaks. We can't afford that right now. Sausages. Unlock a sausage stuffer. Uh, flour. Tomatoes. Blood red. My favourite colour. The flavour text says. Ha! Flavour text. Unlock tomatoes and their place in the garden. Now, in the kitchen. Workbench. Unlock an additional workbench to cook more. Unlock an additional oven. Or make the oven go faster. There's also a shiny human shredder, uh, the meat grinder. We can make it produce more minced meat, which I think is a good thing because that means that we don't have to kill at such a high rate. Um, now in the pub, we could have tables. We could have more space in the display, which is also good. Uh, more mannequins. Oh, Percival gets an additional piece of cloth. That's pretty good. Tell you what, let's just increase... We're going to increase the yield we get from our customers uh, so that we can cook more pies and make more clothes and kill fewer people. You know? Good. Uh, so we've, we've now got four pounds, where before we had 44 pounds, but we made 34 quid today. So that's pretty good, if you ask me, in just day one. Eh? So, we'll just get straight back to it. <laughs> Cheerful Spider says, please, Johnny, organ donors. Ah, yes, speaking of organ donors, look. Boom, two bits of cloth from that one. Hooray! Emma Benton says, is it a mistake to watch this before I've had breakfast? Maybe, but oh well, I've committed. Look. Emma, if you put enough hot sauce on anything, it'll be edible. You know? Now I just wait. While you're waiting, grind up a corpse. They're, they're both very strong. In fact, given... Oh, what will be your destiny? I'm Hildy. Um, given she's the one also doing all the grinding, I'd say she's actually the stronger of the two, physically. Right, anyway, we got to sew some stuff. We've made some pies. Oh. We should refill. It's quite good. It gives you a chance before you open the shops to just sort of get ready and make sure you've got something. All right. All right. Hildy, we need more pies. Okay, so we've got clothing. Let's start sewing another one for when that sells. But oh dear, we're almost out of cloth. And then we're just going to prep that. Oh, so if we had a second bench, we could prep two lots of pies before we even open for business. Interesting. Well, we don't, so we shan't. Uh, we're just going to open up the shops now. Oh, my customers! Hello! In you come, you hungry bastards. What's going on? Why has no one come in? There we go. Yeah, you look hungry. Go on. Jam Dev says, is this a Sweeney Todd kind of deal? Oh, yes. Oh, my, yes. Here's the pies. That man bought two of them, and he loved them. See that? This is where we make the pies. Uh, up here we make all sorts of lovely clothing. And it's incidentally where the pie meat comes from. Don't worry about it. Uh, Claire de Bear has done a super sticker. It's, just, it's giving me a real sense of the old deja vu. Because I'm seeing a pear. This pear has arms and legs and a face and possibly criminal designs. Because it has a cup of what looks suspiciously like blood. The sort of thing that's... About to come out of this lady. Um, Hildy, restock 
Yes, restock the pies, please, Hildy. Um. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so yeah, but you know, it's we're sort of a hustle. But anyway, sorry, we were talking about the 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 pair that uh, that has arms and legs and a face, and shoes and a a a, 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 a sweat band, but it doesn't seem to be soaked in blood, which is strange because it's definitely blood in that mug, and it's sloshing it about loads while sort of thrusting it at the camera. Um, the nice witch quite rightly says, where's our songs, Johnny? Come on. I haven't watched that musical in years. The worst pies in London. It's just something like that, isn't it? Okay. Uh, you know, oh, Hildy, we're going to run out of pies soon. We're going to run out of clothing as well. Okay. Pretty women making pies. The nice which says, yeah, that was just like the musical, thanks. Phew! Gosh, am I relieved. Oh, you look like you could do with, yeah. Shank! Okay, and then down you go. There is a big town and I don't like it and living in the town are people are uh, shit. It's London and I'm back in it. Do, 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 do. Right. Always been a big musical fan, me, obviously. Okay. All right. Right, we've got clothes. Pretty women. Right, you need to get back in there. Make some more clothing. Hilde, Hildebrand. Theresa M says, I'm so tempted to get this and play the cast album in the background. Entirely fair. No, Adam Koslover has... Oh dear, madam. Uh, Adam Koslover says, So what do they do with the bones? As a butcher, I can confirm it would be incredibly easy to use the meat, but the bones, almost impossible. I will show you, my dear fellow. Because... Uh, well, so firstly, we break some of the bones, and we do that by just giving it one of these. So, hop, bonk, and then Hildy. Oh, no, wait. Oh, shit. Oh, well. Okay. Well, we're just going to do that. Whoops, 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 because we're out of pies upstairs, and we got some pies ready. Crap. Yes, yes, yes. Grind faster. As you can see, we use everything here. And the bones. Right, we actually don't need to kill anyone else for a good while. Oh, come on, sir. Corey Haynes says, It's been about 30 minutes. We've already got into the debate about vegan cannibalism. I like this colour. Like we actually haven't mentioned the whole vegan cannibalism thing. Uh, suffice it to say that none of the cannibalism in this game. <clears throat> yes, I know you need a piece of fabric. I told you to pick one up. Um, none of the uh, cannibalism in this game is uh, is vegan, uh, nor, do, nor do the people really know about it. All they know is that these are some of the pies in London. I better check today's earnings. I hope all of our clients are satisfied with our work. Some of them aren't. Some of them are fucking dead. That way word will spread and our shop's reputations will improve. That alone is not enough, though. We should probably buy some new work tools. I'm sure even well-known people will visit our shops then. Well, that's a bad idea. Hmm. Okay. So, good orders. 12. Yes, 240 mixed reputation. No, 240 reputation points. Mixed orders. 2. 20 reputation points. Bad orders. Nan. Minus 0 reputation points. We made 27 buckaroons. So, what I think we should actually do is Make the sewing machine f Oh, maybe we should get another... No. Right. I want the oven to go quicker. Or do I? No, I want another workbench. Another workbench would be great to keep keep those pies coming. Um, and then we've got $11 left. God, tables are expensive. 
Uh, $11 left. So we can't actually afford anything more today. But it would be nice if the sewing machine was a bit quicker. Wouldn't it? Right. Mails? There aren't any mails to read. Skins? <gasps> what? Oh my god, I can buy new outfits for us. Humble tailor, evil designer. Probably not the best idea if you're trying to hoodwink people, but my Sunday finest. Oh, spiteful skeleton. Look at that. The undead bride there. Hmm. That's, yeah, looks familiar. Gourmet chef. Is that a dog? I mean, not cooking a dog. Anyway, right. So, we've got a second workbench now, haven't we? Yes, we have, look. That's great. Because now... Uh, we can do this. We can make bloody loads of pies. <laughs> Baking time. Oh, there's no tray there. All right, we'll put that back then. <laughs> uh, okay, and he's already made some clothes. So that's good. We do need another mannequin. I think that's our next step. Uh, Kylie Eaton says, hi, Johnny. Can I get a birthday shout out? Kylie Eaton, happy birthday. I hope you are having a delightful day and I hope you have eaten some delicious cake and uh, some other things. Um, oh, it's an Oxtra raid. Uh, Oxtra says they love you, Johnny. Their stream broke. Oh, dear. OK. All right, then, everyone. Um, here's the thing. Uh, welcome aboard. I need to be honest with you. This is a game about killing people, cooking them and selling them to people to eat. It is basically Sweeney Todd, the gam. So uh, just as long as you're comfortable with that. I guess this will be the first test because I'm about to pop a person in a meat grinder. Sounds perfect, sounds lovely. So the norm, says Sebastian Mendoza. Okay, good. Glad everyone's on board. Okie dokie. So. Uh, we've got clothes on the mannequin. We've got spare clothes been made. We've got pies waiting. I'll tell you what we should actually do is restock that. Here we go. And then we'll open the shops for business. Pretty business. Selling meat pies. Ah, etc, etc. Oh, so those pies are actually ready. Hang on. D. Lornrow says, is that not just typical behaviour for Londoners? Not typical, typical behaviour, but you know. Ethan Blomquist has done a super chat saying, second try, my YouTube crashed when I tried to do this before. Johnny, would you say you've become so eeny Todd? Very good, Ethan. Uh, yes, I, I'll accept that mantle. Um, we tend to have a break halfway through the stream. Maybe I'll put some talcum powder in my hair or something. Um, Sam Lowry has done a super chat saying hello from your newest fan, Oliver. Is 18 days too young to watch this stream? Well done to Mum Claire for the recruitment drive. Um, well, hello, Oliver. It's nice to have you in chat. Uh, I'm so glad you currently don't know what's going on because it's about to get real dark. A letter! <gasps> Oh, no, that's bad. You may have sent this. Did you tell anyone about our departure? Silence. Silence. Let me read. <laughs> God. Someone knows our secret. <gasps> Whom? What does it say? Nothing good. Just threats. Apparently the sender knows us really well. Hmm, we have an admirer. We can't leave again. We spent everything we had on this building. I don't like this situation either. But I don't think he means trouble. Rather, he could be a rich client. He talks about a reward. I wouldn't trust that. We haven't much choice. So, what do we do? Now, nothing. We just play his game. He'll get back to us. If what's written in this letter is true, we would risk our lives by leaving. He seems to be a powerful man in the city. Well then, let's hope we'll get some money out of this. Never a dull day for us. Oh, it's um, it's soldier 
seven. What's his bloody name? Sol, sol, soldier, over, over soldier man. Soldier seventy six. There we go. I'm not a young man anymore. There we go. I'll get back to work. Me too. All right, go team. Break. Look at his little run. I guess you could say they're both mincing. Anyway. Black Shield Forge says, make someone into a gala pie. Ugh. <laughs> uh, it smells great. Okay, let's see. Males. Select a male to read. My esteemed Rhodes. I must admit that your arrival in this city has got me pretty excited, and I beg of you not to interpret these words as a threat. What? What? She asked him what was in the letter, and he said, threats. He just said, What's in the letter? Nothing but threats. Anyway, sorry, right. I beg of you not to interpret these words as a threat, but merely as a great opportunity. I know what is going on at your shop. I do often wonder, how do you manage all of those corpses? In any case, I decided to contact you to ask for a favour, but before I do that, I would like to assure you your secret is safe with me if you do what I am about to request. That is a threat, in fairness. Okay. Uh, I have been eating human flesh for a long time. Please nobody clip that. I'm sure you will not find what I say as shocking as others might, though. You cannot even imagine how difficult it has been for me to get my fill from now on. However, with you around, I trust things will be far easier for me. I will give you specific instructions for the prey that I would like to savour. After all, I will not just settle for the average Londoner, full stop, space, exclamation mark. Once the targets have been killed, you will prepare a delicious banquet for me. It will be perfect. When your job is done, a life-changing reward will await you. I would like to suggest that you do not attempt to run away. I will be watching your every move and will know where you are at all times. That is also a threat. OK. Um, moreover, I suppose the local police force would greatly appreciate a tip-off regarding the unexplained disappearances in town. I will send you details of the first target soon. Oh, shit. This initial is quite intimidating. Kind regards, your new friend... J. <laughs> oh no. Uh, Franco Fry has done a super chat saying bracket soldier 76 voice. We're all meals now. Uh, Nick Jeffrey has done a super chat saying hi Johnny. Hope you're having a good day. Wore my new Cthulhu no lives matter tea to dialysis machine. So if anyone you eat has a spare kidney hit me up. Right. Wow, that's so kind of them to put me in this video game. And we've got pies on the thing. We've got pies waiting at the table. We've got cloth on the doodad, uh, on the mannequin. We've got clothes ready to go. Let's open those shops. Ding, ding, ding. Pies and clothes. Pies and clothes. You'll be the best thing you ever eat if it kills you. Wait. Why is it always so quiet at the start? Oh, finally. Here he comes. Same bloke as yesterday. Pie fancying man. Oh, I like a nice pie, he's saying. He's dropped a pound forty on some pies. Sort of stalking out the door with them. Here comes a lady, possibly to get measured. For a coffin! Okay, right, so. Here we go. Do little do do. Sorry about it. Boop, 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 boop. There's blood everywhere. I'm not a young man anymore. <clears throat> right, well, we've got sort of some pies there. Uh, Claire de Bear says, what makes more money, the clothes or the pies? Um, so far, they seem to make about the same money, but there are other recipes available in Zagam, which mean that uh, I think you can make a bit more money. Silver Comet says, is there an arbitrary method you use to decide who lives and dies? Not really. It's just if someone comes in for measurements and I need meat, I will get some meat. Uh, speaking of meat, Hildebrand... Get some, get some mints. 
Black Shield Forge says, considering it's Victorian London, a pound for a pie is a huge amount of money. I think they're getting two pies each. Let's watch. As fast as I can. Right, let's see. How many pies has he taken? Two. One pound. For, I mean, that's still an extraordinary amount of money for two pies, but what if they're the best pies in London? Etc, etc. Oh, hello. Hello, madam. Sorry, be right with you. Okay. Lucanthia says, Johnny, did she say check the recipe book for prices? I think so. Uh, right, pies. More pies upstairs, please, Hilda, Hilda Brand. Ah, oh, right, there's blood everywhere. Okay, oh, there's, a, there's enough corpses in there for, to last us a while. Uh, oh, Hildy, you need to make more pies. And you need to make more clothes, mister. Zero Summation says, if you don't kill them, do they just leave or can you actually measure them? Uh, I believe you, they do actually leave after a bit. So you don't need to make everyone. Poskigit says, oh, so he doesn't make the clothes, he steals them. Didn't notice that at first. He, uh, he patches them up, as you can see here. And tomorrow, there'll be two mannequins. Anthony O'Connell says, wow, just tuned in to Johnny playing a game where they stab someone in the neck. Uh, yep, welcome aboard. This is Ravenous Devils. Uh, it's a game where we make pies uh, and clothes. And our customers are everything to us. Hildy, restock the pies, please. See, look, look, measuring now. Because we've we've actually got loads of meat, so we don't need that lady to make a contribution, shall we say? Uh, pop that clothing on the mannequin. Okay. Put that down there. Jamdev says a pound in 1850 is worth 1,400 pounds in today's money. These are some pricey pies. They are. That's quite a lot. Uh, let's see. Oh, so that lady left. So that's good. Last clients. Okay. Bang. Day two. Done. Daily customers, 12. Good orders, 12. Plus 240 reputation points. Mixed orders, none. Plus no reputation points. Bad orders, none. Daily profit, £24. Which isn't isn't dreadful. Now then. Um, let's see. What did we want? We wanted to make the sewing machine faster, but we also wanted another mannequin. I think another mannequin would be a better upgrade at this point. Because if we can start with two garments on the rack, there will always be an option for somebody to buy... Or at least there'll be an option for somebody to buy something for longer in the day than... Let's buy another mannequin. Okay. Um, Claire de Bear says, what's a mixed order? It's basically, uh, I think it's when people are made to wait for a while. Um, Bun Burius says, good morning, LSPs. What have I missed? Um, some murders and some sewing, in fairness. Um, and some mopping. And some grinding, and uh, some dramatic reading. You know, I mean, you've seen Sweeney Todd. This, just uh, Emma Benton says, why do we have to pay to unlock tomatoes? Because we're buying the plants, as far as I'm aware. Um, let's restock those pies. H. C. Bird says, just regular old murders. We're just innocent murderers. Just normal murderers. Right. Make another batch of pies. Emma Benton says, can't we just start a community people fertilised garden on the roof? We're not made of mints. That's got to go in the pies. Okay. There we go. So now we've got two dressed mannequins. Um... Mankoy says, are the pies any good? It varies from person to person. Very good. Uh, Neverlikely has done a super chat saying, Puppy is finally asleep, so you now have my full attention, Johnny. 
And I guess this interesting stream is a good way to distract from my current dysphoria, much love, with uh, four hearts, yellow, white, purple, black, uh, to give us the non-binary pride flag. I'm sorry to hear about your dysphoria. Uh, I sincerely hope that uh, it clears up soon. Uh, the nice witch says, is it bad that I'm hungry now? Um, you know what the strange thing is? Uh, a friend of mine was a vet student uh, for only for a year. Instead, she decided to become an architect. Uh, but um, they would have dissection classes, and they would be dissecting all sorts of dead animals. And apparently everyone afterwards would always be ravenous. They'd just be like... They would, yeah, everyone would just really want to eat straight after dissection class. And they all found it weird, because they might be cutting up, you know, like literally anything. Dr. Branga says, and formaldehyde makes you ravenous. There you go. Right, let's open those shops. Do, 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 do. Nick Chinamo Smith has done a super chat saying, technically we are all made of mints. True, yeah. Okay. Good morning, missus. You going to buy a pie? She bloody well has it all. Yeah, this is a man who's going to buy something from a man akin. He has. Let's restock the mannequin. Come on, hustle. Hustle, people. I don't want to restock these pies yet. Oh, I need another pie stand. That's what we need. Oh, good morning, madam. And how are you? What's that? You're not well? Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, we'll see if we can't do something about that. There's blood everywhere. I've got you in my sights. All right. Emma Benton says, I'm concerned that we're also putting bones in the pies. Yeah, I think it's a lesser concern, really. Come on. Moving, Moving there. Pushing the point. Restock the pies, please, Hildy. I don't need to clean. I know you don't. Don't cough at me, you insolent man. Right. Good job, Hildy. Time to get some more meat. The nice which says, I wish this wee pal could do their murders without making so much mess. I know, right? They're a real mucky pup. Hold on, sir. Be right with you. Only this lady is about to buy something off a mannequin. For four quid? Heck. Woof. Really warm. I'm not a young man anymore. I think we're actually killing too many people. I'm not going to lie. We've got two stacked up here. Uh, Hildy, you stick that there for now. Uh, yep, yeah. and then that goes down there. Uh, I could do with I could do with cleaning up the place a little bit. Oh no, now we've got to restock the pies. Gaz says, are we just turning people into new lovely skeleton pals? Not really, since, um, well, you can see their bones aren't exactly having the best of times. Right, right, there's a moment. Okay, the grinder's fully stocked with meat. Mop. I'm quite bad at this point at, at sort of keeping everything flowing. Hildy, restock. Okay, so, moving. moving. Okay, good, Hildy, make some more pies. We're getting on for last client's o'clock, I think. Four quid. Okay, and then that goes in there. Madam, I will be right with you. I haven't really got uh, time to commit another murder today, but uh, if you like, I will just do the measuring idle animation uh, for a bit uh, while my partner here puts some pies in the oven. Baking time. Baking time. Okay, Sam Lowry says, entering the, entering the shop is a high-stake game. <laughs> Sensible chuckle. 
There you go, look. Ladies, ladies, sold it off. I mean, the whole thing's a sordid business, isn't it? Right, Hildy, more pies. Ah, dang. Okay. Manny says, what do you think the Yelp reviews would be like on this place? Loud. <laughs> Oofed. Shay Williams has done a uh, no, hasn't done a super chat. Shay Williams says, hello all, I can't stay long. First time catching a live stream. Been watching the video since the beginning. It's my birthday today, and I was hoping to get a shout out for when I'm off work and I can watch. Shay Williams, a happy birthday to you. And what fortune it is that I should be streaming this on your birthday, because I only can only assume it'll be your favourite video game by the end. Um, I hope you're having a really lovely day. Um... As the nice switch says, there are so many birthday pals today. But hark! We have received another letter. Dear Rhodes, Elliot Carson is your first target. He is young and greatly committed. He is a young and greatly committed businessman. It is impossible not to be thrilled by the stories of his travels. He wanders around the city in his free time, talking to everyone, even those filth-covered country louts. He has no objection to frequenting even the most infamous establishments, as he believes that there is always something new to learn, even in such places. In my opinion, he is a disgustingly virtuous man. Anyway, all of this will work to our advantage, and, in fact, it should not be too much of a challenge to lure him into your hovel. <laughs> Sorry, no offence. I'm, uh, I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to spruce the place up. Mr. Carson is a very charismatic person and an eloquent speaker. I have had the pleasure of making of having him as my guest at some of my most famous parties. He is a good-looking man. You will recognise him for sure. His eyes are like two blue magnetic spheres that simply drive me crazy and just the right size to eat in one bite. Kill him and preserve the body. I look forward to this immensely. Jay. Ruthie Pinion says Johnny knows exactly how to read this because they wrote it. No comment! Let's look at some upgrades. So, sewing machine speed is important, but a second display would also be kind of great because it means that we could have more customers. It means we're doing more prep in the beginning of the day, which makes good sense to me. Oven speed, not really. Oh, we could no, we can't afford another oven. I'm going to get a second display for the shop. Sorry about it, tomatoes. Uh, we'll get to you in due course. The course pate. Okay, so. Oh, I'm sorry, Emma Benton. Emma says, get to the tomatoes. All right. Cool. Now we can make as fast as, as, fast as I can. <laughs> Claire de Bear says, can you have an unpaid intern? Claire de Bear, that is unethical. It would be an uneaten intern. For now. Talman has done a super chat saying, my customers are just stacking up. Because <laughs> they all land on each other. Okay. She does so much work down here. Baking time. Grind him up. So much work. Look at his nibs upstairs. Oh, my sewing machine's got clothes already on it. And my mannequins have got clothing. There's nothing for me to do. That's what he's like. Click. As fast as I can. She, is, she sounds lascivious. There, I said it. <laughs> Neko the kitty says... Of the uh, the uneaten intern, pay them in exposure to horrifying things. Incredible, incredible. Right, Titan Uranus says this is basically like upstairs downstairs. Okie dokie, let's open those shops. People will like this. Yes, they will. Oh, unpaid internal organs. There we go. There's a pun. Okay, so we've got 
Two more rounds of pies already racked up, which is great. We've got clothes for days. Come on. Hello, missies. Do you want a pie? God, that's good. Come on, missies. Come and buy your pies. God, that's good. Oh, why did you buy from that fucking display? We've got one that's two-thirds full and one that's one-third full. What is this? The water puzzle from Die Hard with a Vengeance? You put that down. And you, you go put clothes on this mannequin. Be right with you, madam. We don't really... Madam, I do not need to kill you at this day, at this point in time. I'm sorry, but... I just don't... Well, we could do with some more cloth. Right, here we go. Hildy. Oh, you f bust! Just restock one of them. Doesn't matter. Bye, madam. Right, we'll kill the next one. Ah, oh, ah, oh, D. Lornrow says, Pie hard with a vengeance. Just delightful. Hello, missus. Come and get your pies. Yes, come buy the pies. Who will buy my ground up dead neighbour? Wrong musical, but I know this one better. Meaty pies, they're made from citizens, so what am I to do but make a pie from you? There must be someone who will die. Hello, speak of the devil. Good morning, madam. I'll show you what the latest fashion is. It's an elegant opening in the deck. I don't stab her in the stomach that's going to spoil the cloth. Silly man. Right. Zega Genesis says, is that the A-team so A -team theme song? That's right, yeah. Uh, okay. Hildy? I need my hands free before doing that. Oh, fuck. What, you've, what have you got on you? Is it pies? Yeah, put them down. Mop up, sir. Clean up an aisle upstairs. Hildy. We need to work on our communication skills. Right, and you, sir? All right. All right. Tactical sewing needle ready for deployment. Uh, uh, uh. Hello, Gavna! Pop! Uh, oh, Hildy, more pies upstairs. They're flying off the shelves today. Do, 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 do. Nick Jeffries done a super chat saying, Imagining Burt Reynolds in the film Cannibal Run. <laughs> oh, yeah, Lucanthia says, Don't forget to keep an eye out for the man you need to kill. Oh, yeah, Elliot something. He's got lovely blue eyes, I'm told. Oh, get the pies out of the oven. Good. Um, right, sewing. Uh, right, pies, make more pies. Make more pies. Make more pies. Where is the, the blasted charismatic fellow? Uh, oh, yeah, flour. Oh, no! <gasps> Wait! Hold on! But who's this fine gentleman walking through the door? Oh, blub, 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 blub. <laughs> Hello? Uh, Wait a minute. Where... Ooh. Uh, good day, Mr. Percival. I am Elliot Carson. Yes? 
your shop is making the news in this city. No, you're thinking of the newspaper office, Gav. I'm making clothes. People say that it's impossible to find such highly quali high quality clothes elsewhere. Here. Some acquaintances of mine came by recently to tell me that I should pay you a visit. I didn't know a tailor had opened here. The clothes on display look exquisite. But I suggest you clean this place a little. By the way, I'm going to commission a suet before I depart for my next trip. Nice to meet you, Mr. Carson. It would be my pleasure to tailor something for you. What kind of suet are you after? Is it for you or the boy? I will need to take my assuments first. For me, of course. I need a very durable suet for hunting. He is just my assistant. You may pretend as if he is not here. And if he bothers you, I can kick him out. Well, well, well. Am I right, boy? I'm a brick wall, mister. <laughs> <laughs> I know that there's an, a comma implied after wall there, but <laughs> I'm a brick wall. I'm a brick wall, Mister. <laughs> just the way I like it. Anyway, I'm just passing through to take a look at your humble shop. I'm leaving now, as I have plans today for Mister Percival. But I will return again in the near future, if you don't mind. Of course not. Feel free to come back whenever you like. Thank you for coming. See you again soon, Mr. Elliot. Much obliged. See you soon. Come on, you loafer. We're leaving. I'm a brick wall, mister! Say goodbye to Mr. Percival. Goodbye. Perfect. Um... Zaki Wacky says, Hi Johnny, it was my 30th last week and my partner got me a Skelly Pal shirt. She doesn't watch YouTube, but she knows as I watch your streams and said, I knew you'd like it as it's Johnny's shirt. Oh, that's really lovely. Um, well, happy birthday for last week. Um, 30 is one hell of a decade uh, I'm finding so far. Really enjoying it. So, anyway, he must be our target. The sender of these letters isn't joking. Next time I will have some work to do. You got work to do now, son. Sewing, to be precise. Dr. Branger says, is brick wall some sort of Victorian slang that I don't understand? It just means I won't, I won't, I won't give anything away. The, the common parlance is talking to you is like talking to a brick wall. Um, so it's like, it's useless talking to a brick wall. So it's like, oh, I won't tell people nothing. I'm a brick wall mister. That's what he means. Captain Shiny says, so how likely is it that the urchin will actually report us if we killed the top in front of him? This is... It's really warm. This is my concern as well. And I'm wondering if among hidden among the upgrades is like a twin blades situation. You know? WW Kind says, uh, a brick wall does not listen. See? There you go. Uh, right. Flare. Pies. Keen pies. Right. So, both mannequins are dressed. Got something there on the thing. Both pie stands are filled. We need to put these pies back in the oven. Robert uh, Baumbach has done a super chat of... Right. It... Those of you who joined the stream late may not be aware that so far today we've had two sightings of a pear. Uh, not the normal piece of fruit that you might know as a pear. Um, this one seems to have arms and legs and a face. Um, and before it was waggling a, 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 a bucket of blood around. Today it's working out. Right now it's, it's alternately lifting its legs and some dumbbells in its hands. As the text says, keep it up. I can only assume that this is how our protagonist here got so strong in order to um, grind up all of these bodies. It so oh, it smells so good, she says. Okay. Do, 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 do. Just gonna... Yep, here we go. The strength on her. It's ridiculous. I should clean this from time to time. 
what? Right, upgrades, 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 upgrades. Oh, ooh. oh, our shop's reputation is wibbling. Uh, good orders, 19. That's 380 reputation points. Ah. Angel Beats on Super Chat saying, Hi, making good use of those human resources? Absolutely incredible. Incredible. I'm loving your work. Also, uh, RV Dammit has asked for the PO, the Pi O box address. <sighs> Goodness me. Hold on. Dick Scatberg says, Hand cranking a human sized meat grinder. Oh, anything could happen in London, Gav. Uh, the Pi O. Pi O box address is that. Uh, Pietro P has done a super chat saying, "Just got here. Is this veganism the video game?" Not quite, my dear Pietro, but I thank you for the super chat. Right, so. In the Taylor Lab, we can make the sewing machine faster. I think we should do that. We've been talking about doing that for ages. Right, the fastest needle in the West. Uh, oven speed could go up. We could get another... No, we can't afford another oven right now. Can't afford tomatoes. Or to diversify our menu just yet. Um, I mean, if we upgrade the oven speed now... Then we'll have two ovens that go faster. Um, Poskiga says, what do the tables do in the game, I mean? Uh, that's a good point. Tables. Set up a new table in the pub. I think it's so people can hang out. Which I'm not sure we want. In any case, we can't afford it. Oh, we could do with another mannequin. Let's... Alright, we'll do oven speed. And then I think a new mannequin will be good as well. Once we can afford it. So, as fast as I can. Right then, uh, Nick Jeffrey is on Super Chat saying, forget pies, branch out into selling bisque. <sighs> okay. We've opened those shops. Why is it always so quiet in the morning? Why can I not just put this cloth somewhere else, you know? Is there anywhere I can put that? Go on, buy something off the mannequin. Go on. Oh, you want fitting? Oh, no, you don't. Go on, buy something. Sean Carr says, I just got here. Is this a Mrs. Ms. Lovett si simulator? Pretty much, yes. Okay. Pies. They're selling. I like this colour. Hello. I'll be right with you. I'm just going to make a new garment. Well, that is quicker. All right. Good day, sir. And if I may be so bold, goodbye, sir. Oh, that's so quick now. That's great. Right. You go in the hatch. Nick Chanamo Smith says you could use the human bones to start making raw men broth. Very good. Uh, let's see. Let's restock some pies. Why not? Come on, please buy from the almost empty stand. You, sir, are the worst kind of customer. I despise you. Awful. Dreadful man. Okay, he'll eat. <laughs> the nice switch says, Fastest pie maker in the East End. Right, all's quiet in the tailor shop, so we can focus on making pies. Here comes a lady to buy more pies. Here comes somebody upstairs who's making a purchase, which means that thingy here needs to refill that mannequin. Right, the pies are selling well, that's a good sign. Come on, chump. Sir, no, you don't need you don't need measurements. Titan Uranus says, is Fleet Street in the East End? Yes. Eh. So. Sort of East Central, really, isn't it? Boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. I mean, look, we've got so... Well... I always not want that. Boop, 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 boop. Hildy, we need more pies. 
Please, sir, buy, buy the two remaining ones on this. You are just the worst. What is wrong with them? <laughs> Becky S says, just got here and oh my goodness. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of that today. Um, this game's quite full on. It's called Ravenous Devils. And um, it's, it's kind of right up my street, which is obviously quite troubling. Uh, right. Where's Hildy gone? Oh, there you are, Hildy. Make more pies, please. And then... Hildy. Hang on. Are you, sir? All right. I've got you in my sights. <clears throat> Pick up the fabric, then. I'm sorry I clicked too fast for you to understand. Hildy, more pies. Hello, sir. Is that lady going to buy something? Yeah, buy something or get out. Chris Rakowski says, Damn it, Hildy, I said cook hot meat. Oofed. Oh, it's last client's o'clock, is it? Well. All right, we'll do one more in for the day. Why not? Let's uh, put that in. I hate the way they cough at you when you tell them something, they tell them to do something they don't want to do. Nick Chinamo Smith has done a super chat saying, I will say this is not far from what I expected from Kiedini's kitchen. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nick. Um, uh, Eto Pirinka has done a super chat saying, Hey there, Johnny. Keep up the good work with those pies with a heart emote. I hope I'll have some time to watch live next time you stream uh, God of God of War. G-O-W. Yeah, God of War. Uh, love watching you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Um, KP says, Johnny must be playing Overwatch or Overwatch 2. I know those soldier." 76 voice lines. Haven't actually played uh, Overwatch in years. I'm boycotting Activision Blizzard games at the minute because um, of uh, terrible allegations about their work culture. Uh, anyway, Rose, who is this? This doesn't seem well. Doesn't seem good. Good morning, Mr. Percival. Am I too early? The shop still seems to be closed. Good morning. Wow. Not at all, Lady Elswin. Please do come in. Were you in need of a new dress? Yes, I have an appointment. Please be my guest. Go in front of the mirror. I'll be right there in a moment. <laughs> Dick Skatberg says this game brings new meaning to the saying, no ethical consumption under capitalism. This must be the place. That trap door. Those clothes. Oh my god, everything Jack told me was true. Should I tell him anything? I don't know how he'll react. I'm here for one reason. I won't mess this up. Oh dear. Here I am. Let's get to work. Um, I was thinking something delicate, maybe in light blue tones. Is this dress for a special uh, uh, occasion? If you don't mind my asking, a funeral. Well then. If I may offer my opinion, I'm not sure light blue is particularly suitable for a funeral. It won't matter. In fact, I don't think anything, anyone will say anything to me. I will be the one laying in the coffin. What do you mean? I'm dying and there's nothing that can be done. I'm already roaming this world like a ghost. I would kill myself, but I'm not brave enough to do such a thing. If only someone could free me from this burden. It's asking to die without suffering too much. But maybe... Hi, I'm sorry, but I need to interrupt you, Percival. I have something to show you downstairs. I'm working, Hildred. Dot, dot, dot. Please, Percival. You need to come with me. I'm sure we can set another appointment for the lady. You were just starting anyway. Maybe it was a mistake coming here. I'm so sorry. I have to go now. Sorry for wasting your time. Oh, is... Oh, the J in the letter could be Jack. Of course. Hmm... Sean Carr says, now it's vegan. Hmm. Was she all right? Did you traumatise her somehow? How dare you? I haven't touched her. She said she's dying of a disease. Poor soul. Anyway, what's so important? Let's go, I'll show you. Well, that did take a bit of a turn. Um, I mean, we all knew this game had adult themes. 
I didn't expect it to go full comedy of errors, though. So, do you like it? What? Don't you notice anything new? Hmm. No. Look up there. I put up some flowers. Oh. I see. Decided to put some decorations in here. Customers will appreciate it. Now they have something to look at while they wait. This is what she interrupted us for. Do you like it? It's a good start, but you definitely need something more. Did you seriously interrupt me for this? Yes, this is really important. That woman knows our secret. We'll make customers happier. Okay, Eternal Space Witch has done a super sticker. The super sticker is one we have seen twice already today. It's terrifying. It's a pair. It's a pair that has gained sentience, and limbs, and opposable thumbs, and a, th a thirst for blood. Because it's standing there with a, a mug that's full of a, a sort of viscous red liquid, and it's repeatedly going, way and like thrusting it toward the screen, which is frankly upsetting. But hey, there's flowers in the shop now. We'll make customers happier. Hmm, fine. Go back to killing. Apparently that's the only thing you enjoy. Not the only one. Oh, he's giving her a kiss. Well, that's just lovely, isn't it? That's nice. Well, back to the grindstone. Okay, we've got 34 quid, which isn't really as much money as I'd like to see because I don't think we can afford the upgrade we want. Let's see. Right, he's done his sewing. She's making pies. Selena Steele, meanwhile, has uh, has done a super sticker of uh, the same pair. Uh, the same pair, for all its apparent murderousness, uh, no. Now I just wait. No, you don't. You run these pears up... These pears? These pies upstairs. Oh, no. Um, the the pear we mentioned earlier has put down its cup of blood. Ready to eat. Ready to eat and is holding a party blower and has a party hat on and is kind of going like... <laughs> and doing like a fun party dance. Which is nice if you're into that sort of thing. Um, here we go. Uh, let's see. I'm going to take these pies out of the oven. No, sir. They're in onion. We're going to make some more pies. And we're going to grind up a main. M. Lux says, such a long time since I could catch a stream. Hope everyone is doing super well. Everyone is, M, apart from these poor unfortunate selves here in the chimney. Uh, they have... Um, uh, well, they're not having a good time. B. Reynolds. Uh, B. Re Reynolds 376 says, you know, with the amount of blood on the floor downstairs, how is she not tracking it everywhere? Perhaps she is, and people just think that's because she's making pies, which she is. Right, here we go. Uh, so, 15 good orders. That was 300 reputation points yesterday. That's pretty good. So, workbench, oven speed... A second oven would be great. We can't afford it. Another mannequin would be wonderful. She works so much harder than him, doesn't she? Oh, decorations! More space in the display. That sounds kind of good. I don't know. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm torn. Another mannequin. Save up for tables. Tables might be fun. Save up for the big oven. It's so swanky, says Jamdev. All right. No new mails to read, so that's good. Right, we'll save up. We'll save up. We'll grind one more body. And then we'll... Um... <laughs> M. Lux's types dot dot dot. I... Yeah. It's... Um... It's it... it's rather a lot, this game. Stephen Clamett has done a... <laughs> Andrew Weir says, Johnny, please think of Emma. They want the tomatoes so much. We can't afford the tomatoes. Do you have any idea how expensive tomatoes are? Unlock tomatoes and their place in the garden for $50? Pfft. 
pounds. <laughs> I'll look into it. I'll look into it. Anyway, Stephen Clement has done a super sticker of, um, of the pair. The pair before had a lot of blood and was celebrating, possibly getting away with murder. How is it getting away with murder, you ask? It appears to be super... not human. Super fruit... super... Uh, super fruit. It's wearing a cape and gloves and boots and is gliding across the sky at speed while giving quite a lascivious grin, actually. Meanwhile, Yoms has done a super sticker um, of a Shiba Inu that's kind of standing up on its hind legs and going... Way, but the text says, "How's it going? It's going pretty well, thanks, Yoms. Um, thank you very much for the superb sticker. Right, the bases are loaded, the pies are ready. Let's open those sharps." Zizthris says, "Oh my, Sweeney Todd Simulator 2022. Yes, indeed. Except for we're a tailor. It does say that a barber, an infamous barber, used to work here, um, which is probably why the place is so naturally given over to." Um, Selling people dead people in pies. but Emma Benton says, but we can build a garden, we can have a lovely little garden. All right, fine. We're, we'll buy the tomatoes after today. After all, we've only got two recipes. Meat and meat wheat. The secret ingredient is crime. Meow? I'm not... Mm -mm, I'm not cooking a cat. I draw the line at cooking a cat. Right, some pie's been sold. Buy something off the rack, please, madam. Andrew Weir says, I love meat wheat. What could be nicer than meat wheat? Okay. Gillen Borum says, do you have any sugar to make sweet wheat, sweet meat wheat? Hark at thee with your fancy recipes. Oh, oh dear, that customer seems to be unwell. Never mind. Titan Uranus says, say what you will about London. There haven't been any secretly cannibalistic pie shops in Slough that you know of, Titan Uranus. Oop. Deep biddy biddy biddy. Pies go in oven. Body goes in shoot. Yep, there they are. Blood goes in bucket. All right. Moving there. Burrito's on a super chat saying that feel when Square Enix sells Deus Ex for pocket change and you discover they've not even thought of it since 2016. Fear I'll be in my 40s by the next entry. How are you doing, Johnny? I'm all right, Burrito. I'm less worried about Deus Ex. Um, I'm more worried about making enough meat pies to satisfy people's appetites here in in bloody old London. Um, which is to say I'm playing Ravenous Devils and having quite a good time with it. Uh, Nick Jeffrey has done a super chat saying, why not cook a cat? The cat would cook you. Um, my cat does not know how to work my stove. I know this because I've seen it try and walk across it. Uh, we stopped it from doing so. But uh, Doc Zock has done a super chat. Uh, no, it's a super sticker of our friend, the, the possibly criminal pair. Um... They are just sort of standing there, and they kind of like do a little like wind up, and they're like whoa boing, and then they just throw a thumb out at the um, at the screen, as if to say you're doing a great job killing people and getting away with it. Thank you so much, Doc Sock. I really appreciate that support. Meanwhile, more pies. Angel Beat says I heard I, I heard about, about it being time to meet one's maker, but this is a lot lol. Incredible. Oh. Madam, I'll be right with you. We could do with some more cloth, actually. I need my hands free before doing that. Oh, I'm sorry. Too good to kill somebody while also holding something else, are we? Come on. That's more like it. Bloody hell. Oh. Come on. It's just like... It's, this is basically like... Uh, Baby's first RTS. It's just training you in, in getting your APM up. Atrocities per minute, of course. Here we go. Boop, 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 diddle, 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 boop, boop. Come on, clean up on... In murder room. Moving. Not a young man anymore. 
And you, sir, need to... Oh, wait. No, put that down. Put that down. You've sold all your bloody clothes. Go, 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 go. I'm really pleased by the number of people that say they're disturbed to discover they're quite hungry right now. Um... To be honest, I... Oh, whoops. We've got pies in the oven. That's why we need another oven. Uh, once we've bought tomatoes. Steph Poole says, Do the customers not hear the bodies going down the chute? Must be very well soundproofed. Oh, London Brick. It's famous for its um, soundproofing qualities. Why not? Uh, right. Pies go in the thing. I'm going to let this guy go. Does he give me any money, I wonder? I don't think he does. I guess we'll find out. No, he just leaves. Basically, you either get murdered or you get told how big your shoulders are. And it's that. It's one or the other. Okay. Those pies are massive, in fairness. Hello, missus! Help me, please! Have you seen me parents? Me mother, me mother. I can't find me mother. What's wrong, little one? Um, me mum yesterday left yesterday because she needed to patch her coat, but she never came back. Hmm. My husband certainly didn't see her. Perfect, perfect. Not suspicious at all. Maybe something happened to her before she got here. These are strange times, my little boy. It's dangerous to be walking around the city alone. Now come on, get out of here. I need to open up shop soon. But madam, please, I'm really hungry. Don't you have anything to give me? All right, I think I have some leftovers. Leftovers from your mum. Thank you so much, madam. You are an angel. Good boy. Whoopsie. <laughs> Shaky Foundation says, Feed him his mum. <laughs> and REC says, Well, I guess your mum ended up in a steak and mum shroom pie. Very good. Uh, Selena Steele has done a super chat. The super chat is of a, a pear. The pear appears to have arms and legs and a mug full of blood. <laughs> it's just, it's a big Great big pear, or possibly, we've never explored this possibility, a man in a pear suit uh, with a massive mug of blood just waggling at us repeatedly. Terrifying it is. Thank you, Selena. Corvus Albright has done a super chat saying cannibal business haiku for cannibal business haiku time. In the mood for lunch. What about that new pie shop? Enticing menu. Mmm. Okay. And even today we say, I am sure of a place in heaven. Okay, right. So, we've got good news and we've got good news. Firstly, this batch of pies is ready. Secondly, that clothes, that, that item of clothing is ready. Third, we're not short on meat. It smells so good. And we have enough money to buy tomatoes. Ziz Thris says, I don't feel good about this. Yeah. Me neither, pal. Okay. As fast as I can. Now all I have to do is wait. Right. Click this. Elliot has done a super sticker. The super sticker is of the pear. The giant, terrifying pear. Uh, holding its stomach and going, ha, ha, ha. As if it has got away with something. Terrifying. Um, Cheerful Spider says, all right, time for work things. Buy cannibal pals. We're not renaming the community. Okay, right. A90 says, heard an argument recently that human is the only possible vegan meat as the only kind able to give their consent. That's true. Uh, that doesn't seem to be what's happening here, though. That's true. Okay. Oofed. Oh, the noise is quite a lot, isn't it, actually? Leon Brook has done a super chat saying, it's only a menu when the pies are made of exclusive, <laughs> exclusively men. Otherwise, it's a woman you or a person you. Very good. Okay. Upgrades. 
300 more reputation points. Don't mind if we do. Let's get them. They're blood red, my favourite colour. We're unlocking tomatoes and their place in the garden. Bang! Ka-ching! Okay. Ooh! Here I am, ready to satisfy my wife's requests again. Don't make it weird. What the fuck? Okay. Hildred needs tomatoes for some of the new recipes she has in mind. I can make room in the attic greenhouse for some tomato plants. Lots of sunlight up there. I've already prepared something, but I need to finish setting it up completely. Let's take a look. Why is there a... Okay. This place stinks of carrion. Uh, well, it would do the way you've been carrying on. Huh? Um, and uh, Shipwreck's Vid says at least your sense of direction won't fail you in this game. Oh, Jamdev says, head in a jar, mate. Everyone has one. Of course, sorry. Money really can buy you anything in this world. Selena Steele says in a super chat, what if the pear is J? Its bloodlust demands pie. Interesting. Hmm. It'll be the perfect place to grow tasty vegetables. I can plant tomato seeds in this topsoil container. But first I need to put some fertilizer in the topsoil. I bought some fertilizer from a dealer at a ridiculous price. Why? How can the, how can shit cost this much? Well, Flurglehinge has done a super sticker of the pear. The pear has been talked about a lot today. This appears to have made the pear a little shy because the giant pear person, or possible person pear, uh, is standing there and occasionally blushing and giggling, going like. <laughs> As if to say, I'm a, a murderous pair, I love to drink blood, and I'm getting away with it. Anyway, how can shit cost this much? I place it in the bucket near that broken bathtub, but I'm not spending another penny on it. I'll make some myself next time. I, have, I already have a brilliant idea. I'm using a corpse. The bathtub will be my composter. Remember, man, that thou art dust, and to dust thou shalt return. Yeah, dust. Shit in this case. <laughs> They're a charismatic pair. Oh god, I said pair. No, they're a charismatic couple. Um, Corio Malayam has done a super chat saying, Listening to other people talk about birthdays reminded me that mine is Sunday. May I have early birthday wishes? Corio Malayam, on Sunday, you will be turning one year older. I wish you the happiest of birthdays. I hope you have a really, really lovely time. And thank goodness that you won't be spending several hours of that day watching um, me grind up corpses and make them into pies. I think that's that's... Top marks all round. Great work. Claire de Bear has done a super sticker. It's of a peach, but with the shading and the shape of it. It looks like a butt. <laughs> Nick Jeffrey uh, has done a super chat saying, Does your wife watch you stream? Would she worry? Do not worry that my because my wife does not watch my streams. She sometimes is just in the house and will hear me talking and will stick her head around the corner and be like, Why are you talking about cannibalism? But um, no, she, she doesn't watch them. So fingers crossed, secret safe uh, with me and all 494 of you watching because um, she might worry. She might. But my wife is safe is what I hasten to add. Chris Rakowski has done a super chat saying, it's a horrible day in London and you are a murderous pair. Honk! Let's use some fertiliser. Hildred hates waiting. Could have fooled me the way you bloody well... Take your time upstairs sewing. Fertiliser on the tomatoes garden. This seems like a lot of admin just for tomatoes. Take that, you stupid plants, and hurry up and grow. I shall replenish Hildred's ingredients now. My work is getting stressful. Oh, I almost forgot I have an appointment. This could be the right time to try out my idea. I'll come back later to see how things are progressing here. This is a great opportunity for you, my dear client, to take comfort in that. All right. Um, Andrew Rogers has done... A super sticker. The super sticker is of the pear. The pear is kind of standing there, kind of like, mm, for a bit, and then sort of just blows a couple of kisses, and hearts come out, uh, which is very nice. Um, it's a bit... The timing's odd, because we're about to murder somebody, but maybe the pear just loves killing. There we go. Client's dead. Your flesh will do great things. Some meat will be sacrificed, but if Hildred wants ingredients, this is the compromise we must make. Let's grab the corpse. I, w I thought we were killing too many corpses for what we needed. And put it in the composter. Alright. 
Alexander Hansen has done a super chat saying, Enjoying the stream. My birthday is Sunday too, so here's a Hobbit present. That's really lovely of you. Thank you very much, Alexander. Uh, Never Likely has done a super chat saying, Just before I go off to watch the rest as part of Vod Squad, Geth's Best Pie Shop. It may be Orphan's Boss. <laughs> Thank you very, very much, Never Likely. And I hope you enjoy watching on Vod Squad. Right. Meanwhile, I'll grab those tomatoes. They seem to be ready to harvest. Grab. I deserve more money. Amazing. Selena Steele has done a super sticker. Um, I'll send the tomatoes to Hildred using the dumbwaiter. Great. I've tried it before. It should work. Hildred will take them in the kitchen. Okay. Well, you should go mop, shouldn't you? Um, Selena Steele's done a super sticker of the pair laughing again, maniacally, like, ha, 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 I've killed lots of people, ha, ha. Okay. Hildred. Percival has sent me some supplies already. What a sweet man. Let's take them. Tomatatos. Talman says, get the sausage grinder. It's wonderful. All right, Talman. Thank you very much for the super chat. I will do so. Mlux says, hey, pals, is there any way to know approximately how long the stream will be on for? Yes, for another two hours and 24 of your Earth Minutes. Now I can have fun cooking some new recipes. Okie dokie, then. What are our recipes here? Ah, meat martos. My hubby's favourite. And meat wheat martos. For lasagna, nya, nya. Oh, delightful. Yes, please. Um, okay. Upgrades. Daily profit. Well, we we don't have much money. Sausage, sausage stuffer is thirty-five quid. Eggs. Thanks, Mister Pigeon. Uh, unlocks eggs and a little house for pigeons. We're gonna have. We'll have one day without that. Composter. Increase the composter speed. Super concentrates. Include improves the tomatoes' growth process. We can afford some more decorations. So let's buy some decorations. There we go. Angel Beat has done a super chat saying, so surely they're tomatoes. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Ruthie Pinion says, Johnny, please say lasagna again. It was that was delightful. Did I say did I say it in the same way? Lasagna. M Lux has suggested Ladzania. REC has suggested Las La Ass Anya. Uh, Hannah Axelson says, once again, I did the mistake of watching the stream while having dinner. Sorry. Carrie Choi has done a super sticker. The super sticker is of a giant pear with arms and legs and a face holding a cup of blood. It's holding a cup of blood like this, and it's just going, blah, 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 cup of blood, blah, 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 cup of blood. Um, I have honestly lost count of how many of the, oh, I said lasagna, nya, 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 nya. Of course I did. Um... Um, yeah, I've lost count of how many cups of blood we've been offered now by a giant pair, but um, there we are. New recipes unlocked. Got it! Okay. Now that's a pie stand. What happens if we make a lasagna? Nya, 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 nya? Oh no. Okay, well. Okay, how are we doing? We've got tomatoes are not growing. Right, hang on. Epicurean bard has done a super sticker. The super sticker is of the big pear man uh, who has got knuckle tattoos now and is going like this. And the, the fists say fist and bump. Fist and bump, which is uh, threatening under the circumstances, but hey ho. Right, let's open those shops. Oofed. Spoon of Doom says, I just joined. Has everybody already made the not surprised Johnny plays a cannibalism game joke yet? Believe me, it's been made. <laughs> okay. Hello, madam. You'll notice our decorations in the window and our pies on the counter. I'm pleased to say that soon we will have uh, tomitos and wheat of meated tomitos, otherwise known as lasagna. Nya, 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 nya. Christopher Needham has done a super chat saying, Are we only ever turning them into mints? Disappointing. Give us a minute, I haven't bought the sausage stuffer yet. Come on you, fastest needle in London, or in the West, or whatever it is. I suppose London is in the West, nominally. 
It's really warm. I'm not a young man anymore. I don't need to clean. You will after you're done with this customer. Pop! Uh, we'll pop you in the composter, I think. Up you go. Uh, Hildy, if you could restock the pies, please. Great. Hope it doesn't draw too many flies. Shush. Okay. Pies. Okay, Hildy, Hildy, Hildy. I need you, I need you. No, actually, don't, no, put... Go get a tomato. Hildy! Go get a tomato. Yep. And we need a... Wheaty. Yep. As fast as you can. Go a bit faster, please. We need you to take a meaty. Uh, right. You, Chuckles. You need to do that. Here we go. We're about to make our first lasagna. Nya, 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 nya. And then we need to... Where did those tomatoes go? Did we send them down? Yes, we did. Ah, oh, clever. Get the tomatoes. Okay. Oh, but they're heavy. Okay. Oh, uh, you need to be sewing. So, so things, sir. Oh, it. You know what? It slowly ramps up, doesn't it? Go on, give them some lasagna, nya, nya, nya. They'll love it. I hope I can put it somewhere. Yes, I can. Great, brilliant. And we'll put some pies out too. Uh, oh, meanwhile, hold on. Pardon me, madam. Uh, do we want to murder you? It's really as warm. Uh, I'll sew, and then, yep, hold on, okay, there we go, yeah, everything working according to plan, pies go upstairs, please, I need my hands free before doing that, what are you talking about, you have the pies in your hands, that's what I'm asking for, okay, uh, we're good for compost for now, so that's gonna go, Emma Benton says I'm fucking crying, why are you saying lasagna nya, 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 like that, well, how do you say it? It's just how I like to say it. I just All right. because, like, I if I say so myself, I make quite good lasagna. My wife really likes it when I make lasagna. So, like, sometimes I'll be like, "Do you want? Do you want me to make lasagna for dinner tonight?" She'll be like, "Yes, I really do." And we just say we say a lot of foods in silly ways. So it's you know like sometimes we say lasagna mananya. You know, it's just it's a bit of fun, isn't it? You haven't fertilised the tomatoes. You haven't fertilised the shush, Lucentius. I've got... Alright, I'll fertilise the tomatoes. Bye, sir. Yep, yep, yep. Tomatoes, please. Mut, 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 tomatoes. Sarah Burke says, so quick question about the P.O. box. So I need to specify which London because there is a London, Ontario too. And I just had a moment of panic. I sent it to the wrong P.O. box. They should be able to work out that you mean the United Kingdom with any luck. Oh, my God, we're out of food. There's no time for tomatoes. It's just just meat and wheat. Shit. Needs to be quicker. Uh, do we want to kill this guy? Not really. We need to make more clothes. Hello, madam. Pies are coming. Sammy Joy says, I've made lasagna for tea. My partner is walking about the house and has genuinely asked if my lasagna has people in it. Dale, if you see this, I promise it's chicken and not people. Likely story. Okay. We'll give the, the wheat a rest for a bit. Because you know what? We've not served a single celiac, as far as we're aware, in this bloody place. Um. Ah. Oh. Okay. Oh, 400 reputation points. All right. We made 44 quid and we've got a new mail. Okay, select a mail to read. M3. My dear colleagues, as I already mentioned in a previous letter, I've been observing your steps for a long time and to be honest, you intrigued me even before arriving here at Hither Blue Lake. When it comes to food, there is no place unknown to me. This is how I knew you had a little shop in Merseyside, <laughs> where you made a lot of money. Unfortunately, something went wrong at some point along the way, and the local competition accused you of selling rat meat. 
damaging your business's reputation. I remember seeing the news on all the local papers and knew it would not be long before the authorities launched an investigation. Then suddenly, a fire! I do wonder which one of you came up with that brilliant idea. Your previous shop turns to rubble, nothing left besides ashes and two unrecognisable corpses wearing the owner's clothes. They thought you were dead, but I suppose by the time all this happened, you'd already boarded your train. Brilliant! I must confess that I almost fell for it too. <clears throat> Later, a mysterious couple, priding themselves on offering the best meat pies in town, opened up a new shop in Southfolk. Many of my friends had said that you could even enjoy the pleasant company of the landlady, a beautiful woman. It could all have just been one big coincidence. Two different couples in two different places, and there would have been nothing odd about any of it, but something did not quite add up to me. My suspicions were confirmed when the shop in Southfolk closed down. You were spotted leaving in a hurry, with very little luggage. Did someone uncover your secret? And here we are now at Hither Blue Lake. The same story. A foreign couple cooking, cooking delicious food. I did my research in an attempt to see things crystal clear once and for all, and as I observed you, I was not surprised to notice that not all of the customers who had entered your shop also left. I do not blame you for your practices. After all, it is hard to find high-quality meat these days. Jay. There you go. Well, he's a loquacious fucker, isn't he? Um... Monster Noodle has done a super chat saying, Hello, Johnny and LSPs. Hope everyone's doing well. I've managed to break my wrist with like three weeks left of my uni year, so that's kind of inconvenient. Monster Noodle, that sucks. I am very, very sorry to hear that. Um, I hope it heals quickly. Um, yeah, that is that is not good. Um, but yeah, uh, I, hope that, I hope the rest of your uni year goes well, and I hope that your wrist heals up very, very soon. Um, uh, it could be worse. You could be ground up into bones. Well, not bones. I can't just put cloth on a mannequin. Not here. Blimey. It, you could be ground up into meat. I like this color. I like this color. For uh, lasagna. So. Psycho Penguin says, Jay's fishing for a discount. Reckon so. Anyway, right. So we got some tomatoes out here. That's good. We'll put those... As fast as I can. We'll put those straight outside. We haven't even looked at the upgrades yet. We've just got more work to do. So, um, Hildy, we've got pies up there. So make another round of pies just to add more pies to the existing pies. And then we'll make some lasagna nyan 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 Ah, We should get a second oven. Oh, but we said we'd get the sausage stuffer. Yeah. You know what we need? We need to increase to increase our cooking capacity before we can increase. Oh, but look! Are there meatballs down there as well? Our system makes no sense. Absolutely no sense. Oh! Oh, what? We just made meat? I... I forgot the wheat. Shh. Bugger. Okay. Well, let's grind up a couple of corpses, eh? Ugh. Pretty soon we shall have a five to seven minute break. Uh, so that, uh, because I could do with something to whet my whistle after, uh, frankly, impersonating Soldier 76 so many times. I need to harvest these little tomatoes. Oh, Christ. Okay. Uh, take some of that meat, please, Hildy. Tighten your anus as you are making ends meet. Very good. Can't believe I just made some meat platters, though. Embarrassing, frankly. Okay. Colin Laster says, I'm ready for break. I'm starving. Okie dokie. Uh, 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 great. Let's go pick some tomatoes. I, just I deserve more money. Okay, mate. They're just tomatoes. Stick them in the damn waiter. I'm glad he handles all of that himself, frankly. Yom says, I unfortunately must leave at the break to get work done. I've got a conference to attend tomorrow, so I'd like to finish up some work before the weekend. Entirely fair. I hope the conference goes well. Okay, so we've got 
some lasagna and we got some just meat discs ready to go up on the stands. Once people have uh, bought things, we've got some more tomatoes to put into the tray. Let's do upgrades and then we'll take a break. Okay, so upgrades. We've got 50 pounds. Let's see now. We could do sausages. 35 bucks. In the kitchen, another workbench. I think we should get another oven, personally, but let's have a look at everything. Second oven. Meat grinder. Mannequins. Another mannequin would be useful. But we've only got one oven right now. That seems foolish. Tables. Tables are fun, if you like that sort of thing. Display more space in the display would also be great. I reckon we need another oven. Uh, yeah, let's... Yeah. Oh, it's a big layout, but you know what? Now we've got two ovens, mate. Oh, yeah, look at that! Two of the bastards. We're going to need more workbench space soon. Okay, then. Right. While this guy is literally watching some tomatoes grow, uh, and, well, let's face it, Hildy needs to grind up one more body, doesn't she? Um... We'll, uh, we'll take a five to seven minute break, my good pals. Um, so, if, you're, if you've watched the streams before, you'll be a pro at this by now. Um, I'm going to go away for five to seven minutes during that time. Uh, what you should do is basically anything that you feel would enhance your, um, your enjoyment of the following two hours once I've returned and uh, continue to do more streaming. So, for example, are you thirsty? Are you hungry? It's okay if you are. The body does need to convert food into chemical energy, and this game should have no bearing on that. They're not real people. They're just series of ones and zeros that we're grinding up and feeding to other series of ones and zeros. Try and try not to think about it too much. Um, perhaps you're too too cold. Perhaps you're too warm. Perhaps you could do with a stretch. Um, basically, you know best what you could be doing over the next five to seven minutes. It is entirely possible that the best thing you could be doing over the next five, seven minutes is nothing, which is great, because um, you can just watch uh, the screen, which will show a picture of my dog, the words, be right back, and it will play some soft jazz. So, um, yeah, I will return in five to seven minutes. Uh, I will see you then. Take care of yourselves and go.
If you got absolute today, you're in for a big surprise. And if you come into my shop today, I'm baking you into pies. And, and meaty balls and lasagna nyanyans. There's lots of things the Scottish course grand. And day's the day and mashing up all my customers. Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, this oh, very strange, very strange live stream here on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Kidding. We're playing Ravenous Devils and uh, it's a shop where we make clothes but we also cook lovely things like meat, like meat pie, like lasagna, -nya, like my hubby's favourite, meat tomatoes, tomatoes. Um, what do we make them from? People! Um, what do we just buy? A second oven, which is actually kind of great. So let's open those shops. Bing, bing, bing. Uh, Mr. Tom for the Wind says, did we have a break so you could workshop that song? Um, if I did pause specifically to workshop that song, you'd hope it would be a bit better than that. So no, it was just uh, a bit of a riff, I'm afraid. A bad one. Hello, missus. What you gonna buy? I hope it's some food. Oh, so already sold some clothing. That's good. Hildy, replenish the meat discs. And then we need to put some stuff back on the mannequin, which means, yeah, we need to go and make some more lasagna. Tegan Evans says, lasagna, nya, 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 nya. It definitely sounds like it has cats in it. I take your point. Bizarrely, my cat once got into uh, some lasagna that I had made and ate like a full full human-sized portion of it, which was frankly terrifying. Um, uh, she was actually not ill afterwards either, which was very impressive. I need a corpse to throw. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, here we go. All right. Brrr. Right, now you need to clean that up, mister. You're almost out of mannequin clothing. Don't come in here, I'm mopping up blood! Alright. Oh, bloody hell. Hildy! Pop that in the oven. You need to... Baking time! Put some more lasagna up on the thing. Oh, fuck you. Up on the thing. Oh, eh at me. Right. Make more clothing, sir. We're way behind today. I do not have time to murder you, sir. Uh, Where's Place says, Join the stream to a lovely picture of Watson. Also, just got my lovely Skelly Pal t-shirt here in the US. I'm really glad it turned up. I hope you like it. And thank you very much for the super chat. And I'm sorry that we went from a lovely picture of Watson to killing people and turning them into food. But uh, that's just how it goes in London. Ehem, says the nice witch. Don't you dare. Don't you ehem me. Excuse me, sir. I know. I know. Yeah, I'd murder you too. But... Okay. Oh, wow, they're so hungry today. Let's just make some more pies. Alex Simpkin has done a super chat saying, To make an Oxventure reference, hot dog, what cruel things you've done. <laughs> I know, right? Dreadful. Baking time! We're almost out of bloody everything. These people are ravenous. Devils! You can't see, but my leg is actually kind of bouncing. Oh, shut up. Don't hear him at me. Stop eating everything! Don't feed you your own family members fast enough. Oh, we're going to be running out of cloth soon. Be right there with you, sir. You I am going to kill if I can get round to it. Hildy. Uh, yeah. Do him in, please. There's a good lad. Mr. Tom for the win says, Looking forward to my tea tonight. Going to have a sausage roll. A vegan one. Good idea. Hannah Axelson says, if two cannibals run into each other and immediately fall in love, is that a meat cute? Very good. Is this oven... Oh, it's this oven's done baking lasagna. I didn't see that. Shit. Go on. Right. You need to make some clothing, my sir. Ugh. 
Hold on, mate. Hold on. No, no, I'm not taking any more corpses in today. Well, maybe actually. Depends how fast I can go. Hildy, your, your meat martos are ready. I'm just saying, it's silly that they're running two businesses. They've both got too much on right now. Make some clothes. Goodness me. And then, right, get your martos out. We're making more meat martos. That's husband's favourite, apparently. Right, they go in there. That goes there. Don't leave, sir. I was just gearing up to kill you. Fine. Oh, my God. We need more workbenches. That's what we need. We're making a lot of money, at least. Right. Oh! Oh! Look who's back! Hello! I'm here to get my suit. It's about time. I'm going inside. You will wait for me here. Zega Genesis has done a super chat saying two cannibals are eating a clown. One looks at the other and asks, Does this taste funny to you? <laughs> Don't try to run away. People are disappearing in this neighbourhood. If I were you, I wouldn't stray too far. That is a great example of what we call dramatic irony. Alanis Morissette, if you're watching, take note. What's ironic about this? He's warning the boy not to go too far for his own safety when you and I know what they don't know, which is that that man is in grave danger and that actually straying from the shop would keep the boy safe. How's that for 10,000 spoons when all you need is a knife? All right, Mr. Elliot, I'll right away right here for you. I'm a brick wall, mister. Hannah Axelson says, so not rain on a wedding day. No, you know what? It rained on my wedding day and it was inconvenient. It wasn't fucking ironic. Welcome back. Sorry. Welcome back, Mr. Elliot. Benjamin Bloomer says, their workspace design is also really bad. Hildy walks across the entire room for every task. Ovens across the room from the workbenches, body stack across the room from the grind out, just bad design. I know, right? Because you've got meat over there, wheat over there, workbench in the middle, it's, it's dreadful. The Gurg says, it's like meeting the man of my dreams and then meeting his beautiful wife. Isn't it ironic? I've been waiting, I've been waiting for you. Hello, Percival. Please take your place in front of the mirror. I like people who don't waste my time. Well. I'm leaving in a few days, my friend. The nice switch says, yeah, but it's a bop, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's not as good as, um... What's the other one? Um, shit. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Uh... Yeah. Uh, one hand in... Oh, Hand in My Pocket by Alanis Morissette. That's the true banger. One hand in my pocket, and the other one is making a peace sign. This time I'm heading to a dangerous place full of wild beasts. I will need my best rifle. They could pounce on me before I even notice. Ravenous and wonderful creatures. I prefer them hanging over my fireplace, though. I'm sure you understand my meaning, Percival. Yes. Yes, yes. I understand. I always used to hunt for a living. But I don't like rifles. I prefer to wait for my prey to fall into my traps. Like s flies in a spider web. Like a black fly in my Chardonnay. And then stab them to death. I would never have guessed. Uh, I thought you had always worked as a tailor. This is something that I would usually keep to myself. Though it seems secrets don't remain such for long in this city. By the way... Maybe you happen to know someone who goes by the moniker of Mr. J, since you are such a well-known figure in town. That's an obvious question. My reputation precedes me wherever I go. Of course I know some people whose names start with a J, but my, the list would run many pages. Think about it. Someone who hates you. 
Uh, Fenris Aconite says, Fun fact, there's a Hannibal cookbook written by the food stylist from the TV show. It's amazing, but most of the recipes are a little above my skill level, and there are meat and vegetarian versions. I actually own that book. Um, Matt Wetton was kind enough to send it to my PO box. <clears throat> Sorry. Or someone you don't get along with. I'm a beloved person, Percival. You're bothering me with this story. Might someone want you dead for any reason? Enough of this nonsense. It was a mistake to come to this dump. As always, good manners get you nowhere. Luckily, I find you annoying as hell. Oh, he's, he's punched us in the face. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Good thing we didn't install tables downstairs yet, eh? He was really getting on my nerves. We shouldn't have come here. This so-called Mr. J better have a good reward for us. Now I need to find a place to hide this bastard's corpse. A cold one. I could do with a cold one. Um, sip, sip, sip. The Gurg says, ooh, what are you drinking, Johnny? This is a beer called... I, I got the power. I, I got the power. It's a hazy IPA from Hackney Brewery and Left Handed Giant. It is nice. I'm drinking it. Um... This is the coldest room in the house. And you're going to hang him in the fucking window? That is not smart. The flesh will be better preserved here. Not going to talk about the head in the jar, are we? Okay. Silent Cobb has done a super sticker of a hippo wearing a pink t a yellow t-shirt. Uh, going, uh, uh, as if to say, I don't know what's been going on today, slash what, what that pair is on about, but... What are you doing here? Um, good morning, sir. Sorry to bother you. Do you happen to know where Mr. Elliot has gone? He told me to wait outside, but I went inside the pub downstairs for a moment. There was a great smell coming from there, and I was rather hungry. Then the good lady gave me a pie. It was really delicious, but I don't have any money on me. So, um, I was looking for Mr. Elliot, but I can't find him. Has he left the shop already? Yes, several minutes ago. Oh, really? Did he mention anything about where he was going? I can't pay for the pie otherwise. He didn't tell me any anything. I'm sure he will come back to get you, kid, and don't worry about the pie. Let's just say it's on the house this time. Oh, thank you, mister. You're such a kind man. I don't think Mr. Elliot is coming back, though. He's probably angry because I disobeyed him. He bought me, and I can be replaced any time. Well, then find yourself another job. You won't last long without any money in this city. Not everyone is as generous as I am. Right, okay. Bloody hell. Can I help here? I'm a fast learner. I was wondering if that was going to happen. I'll think about it, kid. I'll get back to you. Oh, no, wait. I'll get back to you. Thank you very much. Interesting. Interesting. Hildred may need a little help in the pub. Well, are we going to get, are we going to hire the child or not? Seemingly not. Right, you make some clothes. Moving there. Mo moving there. He sounded like the Halo announcer then, actually. Oops, yeah, that's all right. Uh, Hildy, what do we need? Okay, right. So, husband's favourites are already finished. What should we make next, everybody? Do we want to make pies or lasagna? Nya, 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 nya. I'll grind up a body while we wait. Uh, let's see. A bit of fertilizer. There we go. Grind up a corpse. Grind up a corpse. Friends of the Forest says lasagna always. Alright. Uh, REC says sausages. Hmm. That's a good point. Let's look at the upgrades, shall we? Upgrades. We could do with another workbench, but how much are sausages? Sausages are 35. Workbench is 20. We can make sausages and have another workbench. Great. New recipe is unlocked. Got it. All right, where's the sausage staffer? Oh, here it is. Okay. So what? We take meat and we put it in here? This That's not its place. 
All right. Okay, now. Oh my god, is this a completely separate grinder? You're so strong, Hild. Yeah, look at this. My god, you are so strong. A sausage. Well, let's let's try something. Yeah, sausage. Wheaty sausage. Why not? We're experimenting. Yeah, great. Okay. Let's see now. So we've got bases loaded with clothing. Uh, we've got some tomatoes. Hildred huh. needs to free the elevator first. Sorry. The best ingredients for my oh, here we go. What do we make? What did we make? What's this then? Here we go. What's this then? The people will like this. What is it though? What is it? I must know. What did we make? What have we done? Oh, here we go. Oh, sausages and what is that? What is that? Is it meant to be schnitzel of some description? I'm confused. Anyway. Oh, sorry if you just got some buffering. Hopefully it's alright again now. Right, so, okay, we need to put some more people. Teru says, we'll be watching this later, but just jumped in uh, to say I found this to be a brilliant value of a game. I really hoped, uh, I really enjoyed it and hope you do too. It's really good fun, if fun's the right word. Bonk, 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 bonk. Whee! Look at it go! God, that's compelling, isn't it? Right. Oh, here we go. Our sausage platter's ready. Don't know why I said it like that. And then we'll do a few more sausages. Leon Brook has done a super chat saying, Johnny, you're really making me want to sing Power Play from the Lost Boys soundtrack when you say bass is loaded. Everything reminds me of a song. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I've only seen the Lost Boys once and I didn't love it as much as I thought I was going to. Sorry if that is uh, disappointing to anybody, but it's the truth. Right, so we've got some tomatoes, but we've also, we're almost full of tomatoes. So, you know what? What we're going to do, actually, is you're going to get back downstairs, Gav. We need some bodies. And to get some more bodies, <laughs> Claire de Bear just called them meat assets, which is very good. Let's open those shops! We've also got 90p to our names, so that's slightly worrying. Come on in. There's, there's our man there, just sort of hanging out. No pun intended. Oh. Hello, missus. What are you, bu what are you buying? <laughs> Emma Blast says you need to recruit more in human resources. Very good. Hello, sir. Womp. Do that. Oh shit, you gotta make more clothes, mate. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Hildy! Get some whatever you've made here up there. I need some meals to place here. Pick them up then! Arsehole. Dan Keller has says airline pilots apparently refer to passengers as self loading cargo. Do you think cannibalistic pie makers would refer to customers as self delivering produce? It's entirely possible. Um, do, 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 Hildy, Hildy, we need sausages. 
Who wants a bugger in the mouth? <laughs> Gaz says, recruiting people. Where do you see yourself in 10 to 15 minutes at Gas Mark 6? <laughs> Funny. I enjoyed that. That was good. Hello. Be right with you. Be right with you. Don't go anywhere. Because let me tell you, once I'm done with you, you won't be going anywhere. Go, 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 go. Stab, 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 stab. Good. That seemed like a reasonable way to talk about a human. Yep, okay. There's blood everywhere. Okay, there's blood everywhere. Not a young man anymore. Hildy! Fresh things. You know what, actually, make a quick make a quick lasagna. Come on. People love it. Oh, yeah, that goes down the chute, doesn't it? Yeah, come on, buddy. Here we go. And then we'll mop up the blood. Wheat. Your kitchen is terribly laid out. It's laid out like for a game of Overcooked, but there's only one of you. Claire de Bear has done a super sticker of a hot dog in a bun. Or uh, what would you call that? A, a, uh, a pork uh, batten in a uh, bread coffin. Hildy! Restock the things! Uh, Hildy's work is never done. Moving there! This is a masterpiece. This is a masterpiece of meat we're making here. Okay, Hildy, great work. Uh, we need you to make some pies now. I'm trying to keep the menu going, keep it fresh, you know. Hildy! How many times do I have to click? <laughs> nice switch said, did Johnny say a bread puffin? I wish I had, actually. I think I said bread coffin, which is not the same thing. Okay. <laughs> Anonymous says, hey, good looking. Who's you got cooking? How's about cooking someone up with me? Oh, you're all right there, Watson. Good girl. Oh, that's quite warm. Ah, the end of the day. God, that came, that went so fast. Oh, we've got a new mail. Okay. Oof. Ah, right. JT Gerdes is on a super chat saying, Afternoons, Johnny Boss and Skellies. Glad to see you're having so much fun with this. Win a bit of downright shame and otherwise, an awful waste. I really should have listened to the uh, the original cast soundtrack before this stream, shouldn't I? Right, here comes mail number four. Who enjoys walks on the beach and fine dining. Mail number four. How would you describe your perfect day? I'm so happy you managed to kill him. Not a great start. I must confess that I was tempted to join you immediately to enjoy the dish. Then I held back, thinking the banquet would be just perfect with all the victims. I am sure that this waiting of mine will be rewarded. Thinking the banquet would be just perfect with all the victims. Right? Are there more? Um, my father used to say that patience is a fundamental virtue. I never thought I would agree with him. That old bastard was never a good father to me. He used to leave me alone with our servants, only showering me with useless gifts, when all I really needed was him. When he died, I inherited his vast fortune, and I spent his money diligently. My friends, you would have been guests of honour at all of my parties, revelling with the richest people in town, delicious food, women and music. That's why the Oxford Com is really important, everyone. Delicious food, women, and music. But right now we've got delicious food, delicious women, and delicious music. Ah, the good old days. That was a long time ago, though. I was just a boy. Now my taste for celebration has quietened. It is a good thing to realise when it is time to calm down. J. P.S. How does it feel to take someone's life? It must be terrible. I could never do such a thing. Uh. All right, then. So. Pies. Lasagna. So 
Titan Uranus says, how can music be delicious? And Leon Brooks says, synesthesia. Fair. You've got us on that front, haven't you? Right, let's make some... What happens if we make sausage and tomato and wheat? What if we go like the whole hog, so to speak? Let's find out. This head spitting everywhere. Come on. Yeah, bud. Get your tomatoes. Which means that you can go harvest the tomatoes. Oh, and you need to sow some more. Doot, 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 doot. Doot, 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 doot. I really need more money for the tomatoes. Blah, 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 blah. REC says, anyways, got to go for food. Can confirm, not made out of human. Hmm. Not so sure about that. Oh, what? What do you mean? What is... Th we can't... The oven ate our ingredients. I'm sorry, are we saying that Hildy can't cook up something tasty with tomatoes, sausage, and meat? Sausage and wheat, rather. Vile. Ludicrous. They're oh, they're heavy. They're heavy. I'm sorry, the tomatoes are heavy? Look at what you're doing, woman! Look at you! Like it's nothing! But the tomatoes? Oh, they're a problem. This couple. Good Lord. Gaz says, well, you expect a person to be heavy. Fair enough. Yep. Oh, well. All right. So we've, how are we doing on other meats? Let's, um, oh, I'm absolutely livid about that. Livid, so I am. Right, dress the mannequins. Sarah Burke says, just finished a bowl of spaghetti. Had a disturbing craving for meat. Can't imagine where that's come from. And one more. This is good. We're clearing the clearing the to-do pile. The in-tray. Right, you make another bit of clothing, please. Let's have a look at some upgrades, eh? Upgrades. Steaks. No. Potatoes. Unlock potatoes and their place in the garden. Onions. Eggs. You right there, pig? Uh, let's see. Another oven. No, we're all right for another oven. We could produce more sausages with the sausage stuffer. Uh, I think we need another mannequin. Like, quite desperately. So, I'm going to do that. So, we should get tables at some point. There's just so much to do. But I'm intrigued by eggs. <gasps> oh my god, Gaz says we can make scotch eggs. Of course we could. A little house for pigeons. Yeah, alright, let's try it. Uh, right, back to work. Oops. Yes, yes, sewing, sewing, sewing. Paul Howard says, I just finished a three-hour game of Dwarf Romantic. I blame you, Johnny. Thank you. That's impressive. Well done. Right. Hildy, uh, look, I'm as upset about the sausage, wheat, tomato incident as you are. But time, time, uh, we must move forward. I need you to bake these sausages so that we've got... Uh, got enough food... To serve these hungry, hungry people. Okay. <laughs> Sean Carr says, more like Scotch heads. <laughs> it's funny. I enjoyed it. Right. You horrible lot. Great. We may as well grow some tomatoes now, shouldn't we? Let's see why not. Okie dokie, everybody. Yep, there we go. Tomatoes are growing. We've made as much clothing as we can. Made as much food as we can, I think. It's hard to tell how much food is really on here. 
an indicator would be nice. But never mind, let's open those shops. <laughs> Silver Comet says Gaza Pie, etc. Very strong. Big fan of that. Come now, come now. Oh, you know what we can do? We can have Hildy standing standing by with a tray of food just waiting. Johnny, there's an indicator on the left side of the screen. There is an indicator on the left side of the screen. Would you look at that? B Reynolds 376, you're a mumping genius. Gosh, look at that. Wow. Hey, look, it's going down, see? Blimey. Oh, oh, we're down one clothing. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Masterpiece. I need a corpse to throw. Well, here comes a corpse. Deed, 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 deed. Right, Hildy. Restock, restock, restock. Go, 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 go. Okay, Hildy, Hildy, Hildy. I uh, get some meat. Go, 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 go. Corpse, corpse, here we go. <laughs> Angel Beats says they see Mana Quintessential. Ouch, my, <laughs> my brain. Emma Benson says it has been two hours and Johnny just noticed that. Oh, yep. See, I'm, you know, I work the sort of every gamer angle where it's like, you don't have to be good at games to stream them. You could be completely oblivious. Trust me. Am I? Or not. Right, Hildy. Percival. Do some sewing, please. Hildy, I need you up there, ready to restock. Percival, you're slacking. Colin Laster says they've been too busy living the dream. Let's not phrase it quite like that, please, shall we? That would be nice. Hildy, go, Hildy, go, 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 go. Oh my god, this is so much better streamlined. I need a piece of fabric to work with the sewing machine. I told you to pick one up. Okay, Hildy. Hildy, get some sausages. We're going to go for it. More clothing, please. And then another victim, please. Uh, sausages, yes, that's what we were doing. Uh, sausages and... Uh, what happens if we put meat and sausages together? The oven will probably eat it again, won't it? As fast as I can. Oh, yep, yeah, kill him. Thank you. Nearly got away, then. Oh, it's a really good thing my wife's not here, actually. Come on. <clears throat> All right, then, Hildy. Might as well run that straight back upstairs, actually. At a girl, Hildy. Uh, let's do more sausages. Why not? Just do sausages now. Why not? You should be sewing more. Ugh. Yep, sausages go on the platter, don't they? Yes, they do. Hugh says this has made me really want to go and make some old-time clothes on the singer machine that we just managed to pick up. Oh my god, that sounds amazing! And if I may say so, a perfect, a perfect response to a game like this. Because it's legal, <laughs> what you're thinking about doing. I like this colour. It's red. What else is red? This! Uh, good luck or a quick death has stopped by and done a super chat, saying nothing. Solely super chatting, as is their want, and this is very much appreciated. Thank you very much, good luck or a quick death. As ever, it is great to see you. Titan Uranus has done a super chat saying, What is it like working in a pie shop? I love it. <laughs> very good. We need to make more clothes, damn it, Percival. Oh, never mind. Anonymous says, it's too bad Johnny doesn't click with games like Crusader Kings. I would like to see what they do with the cannibalism and incest of that game. <laughs> it's too too much for me to manage. I wonder what kind of seeds these are. Found them in a client's pocket. Think I'll plant them in the greenhouse. See what they grow into. Cannabinabis? Cannabinabis? Herbs? This is fun. I need to remember to fertilize them. Okay. 
Um, yeah, the um, the uh, so the thing about Crusader Kings, I I can't I can't hack that level of strategy. I just do really badly at it. But my friend really enjoys those games, um, and is part of like the I sort of. I've got a little group of friends. We play Halo together, and we, you know, we play Sea of Thieves together, like all that kind of thing. You've you've seen a couple of them on the streams here, um, and uh, sometimes if we're not really feeling like playing much, uh, my friend Joe will just stream himself playing Crusader Kings just on Discord, and we'll watch while like the rest of us will be painting, like or just chatting. It's really good fun. Claire de Bear says, "Why has no one you murder got cash on them?" It's a great question. It really is. Right, so we're. Okay, so everything's fine in the stands. We need to make some more sausages. Cooking some more things would be good. Have we got another mail? We've got another mail. Great. We'll set up the shop for tomorrow. Then we'll see. Dan Kelleher says, I can't get too weird with Crusader Kings because I can't face explaining them to my partner. Yep, pretty much. Let's uh, let's just check in on my parcel and see if it's uh, if it's if I'm likely to get the doorbell ringing soon. It's out for delivery. It's due to be delivered today. Yes. Yes. Where's the tracker that you were telling me about before? Oh, great! I can't track it anymore. Track parcel. Track parcel. Out for delivery. That's all I know now. Well. In that case, it's anyone's guess, isn't it? Good, good, good. <sighs> More sausages. Captain Shiny says, You say the every... Uh, this is a super chat. You say the every gamer angle, Johnny, but I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to manage even the games I'm good at and also monitor chat and be entertaining. Also, Love Crusader Kings makes me feel evil. Um... And that's very kind of you to say, actually. Like, I'm, you know what? You could, you could do it. It's a skill like any other. You get better at it with practice. And I've been doing this for a very long time, which is how I'm able to keep up such a stream of nonsense at all times. Uh, we've got any recipes we've not tried yet. Um, no, I want, I want innovation. We should unlock onions. That's what we should do. Let's unlock some fucking onions. Sausages, flour, tomatoes, onions. Everyone loves onions. Or what about potatoes? We can unlock both. Fuck it. Uh, maybe we should finally get some tables. That'd be 35. Uh, we can afford onions and tables. Oh, we said eggs, didn't we? For scotch eggs. Alright, eggs. And. Uh, tables. Okay. Great, we've got eggs. Now, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Finally, we've managed to fix a table. Now it's ready for our clients to use. I will write down there. Shit! Ah! I will write down their orders and serve them freshly baked food. That sounds awful. No, take it back. I hate it. Oh shit, why are you coming in? Ah, oh, dipshit. What do you want? What do you want? First I'll take the clients all. Ah, oh, fuck. Find out what they want to eat. Yeah. Fuck. They want a hamburger. Great. I have minced meat ready in the kitchen. They'll love it. Just need some minced meat. This is a sudden overcooked bullshit. I liked it when it was just a murder house with a self service thing. God damn it. Yes, as fast as you can, because people are fucking waiting now. Titan Uranus says, what a fine rod you have cut yourself there, Johnny. I know. Bespoke customer bullshit. Ugh. Colin Laster says, that means you're going to have to keep a work table open. <sighs> that means that the... Yeah, all right, let's... All right, you wankers. I unlocked eggs. I was going to make scotch eggs. Sarah Burke says, I think this might have been a mistake. I know. And it's the only... I'm down to this much of the only beer in the house. With an hour and two... Perfect. From now on, I should prioritise the clients at the table. What? Yeah. What? What? Maybe keeping some meals ready on the workbench will help me. There's work to do. But... 
But what? how do I preempt what they fucking want? Right. Everyone loves lasagna. Let's go make some bloody lasagna. They're in before opening as well. You notice this. I've not opened the bloody shop. And we've not said a word about the eggs. Ah, Talman says, hire the boy to help with the table. It costs 70 in the upgrades. Thank you, Talman. Thank you for the super chat and for the advice. Oh. Sean Carr says, is it weird that I wish this game had co-op so that I could play it with my wife? I think that's actually quite nice. In a very twisted way, obviously. Eggs. Come on. Where are you, Eggman? Make some clothes. <laughs> Andrew Rogers says, I see you've worked in customer service before then. Yes. <laughs> yes, I fucking have. Okay, right. So if they want lasagna, nya, 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 or... Oh, look, we can do fry-ups now. Oh, go blimey, fry-up. And meatloaf. Fucking meat... Scotch eggs. Anyway, we... Right, so if anyone wants either lasagna or I think that's sausages, we're set. <sighs> Otherwise, <coughs> we're fucked. <laughs> right, well, we got two eggs. Okay. <laughs> Delon Rose says, just need 70 hack silver to hire the boy. All right, let's read this mail. Okay. Mails. Mail number five. Oh my god, this guy writes a lot. When are you coming to pick up the body? I remember very clearly the moment this idea formed in my head. The balcony outside my bedroom offers a spectacular view. And when the fog fades, you can see, you can clearly see the city cemetery. One day, I sat staring at it until dusk. I could not sleep at all that night. All I could think about was all that meat going to waste in such hard and desperate times. It is a shame to leave all that good food to the hungry worms in the ground below. As I read through biology books, I found out that in nature, many animal species eat their own. Apparently, only human beings are used to depriving themselves of this habit. Intrigued by this idea, I decided to taste human flesh. But procuring a corpse was no mean feat. First, I visited the city hospital. The doctors have a glut of corpses to study and analyse at the moment. I requested a body from an acquaintance of mine, but he refused, even after my attempt to grease his palm. It was much simpler to convince the grave digger, though. I managed to secure a homeless man whose disappearance no one would have noticed. I cooked his body in my kitchen, and ever since I tasted that flesh, I came to understand that I could not help but long for more. Later, however, people started to get suspicious, so, to my regret, I decided to stop. Now you are here. What a blessing. I sincerely trust that the banquet will live up to my expectations. Sir, it cannot if you do not come and collect this body. We've got new recipes, though. Yes, I know about the meatloaf. And the fry-up. Bullshit. Right. <laughs> Dillon Rose says, Greasing his palm would help with the cooking. A very good point. Right, bases are loaded. The table is set. <sighs> go. Here we go. Get upstairs, Hildy. I'm sure some people will be coming to dine in at any point. Oh shit, you got a corpse left to grind. Oh well, doesn't matter. Some pies from London. Get, get hold of that. Get hold of that. Restock. Restock. Hello. Please don't sit down. No! What do you want? Wretched woman. What do you want, ladies? Oh, fuck this. They want... What do they want? They're still deciding? What do they want? Oh, for God's sake. <sighs> Fucking... Yes, what do they want? It's a great choice. Oh, I don't have that. Dickheads. They want sausage wheat. We're running out of things on the stands. <sighs> Anonymous says, it's fine. Die, Ning. Very good. Speaking of dying. Bye. 
Nothing personal. Come on, come on. Sausage wheat. That's what they want. That's what they want. Give the people what they want. Steve Gillies has been here five minutes, and it's been a frankly baffling array of accents from Johnny so far. I've I've hit it hard, I'll say that much. Oh, look at them! Look at the, look at how I'm fucking impatient they are for their food. Oh, my face is covering it up! God damn it. I'm going to put myself back down here. Because look at this, right? You watch this. Look, already yellow. They're already like, well, where's my sausage wheat? What are you talking about, where's your sausage wheat? You asked for it 20 seconds ago. Wretches. Oh, you, I mean, getting a bad review now. Fuck. Off. Oh. Although that is a very funny emote for a Victorian era person. Wow. Absolutely fuck that. Oh, no, wait. Put that cloth down. Put that cloth down. Emma Benton says, this is why we need to hire that small child. And how? We're, we're out of food upstairs! At least there's only one table, so until they're done eating, they can fuck off. Dan Kelleher says, sausage wheat sounds fucking horrible. Doesn't it just? Right. Here we go. Right. You make more clothes, mister. I'll be, I'll be killing you shortly, sir. Hold on, sir. Actually, I can do that now, can't I? Uh, Hildy, 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 Hildy. Oh, God, the table's free again. They've, they're ravenous. They're eating everything. Uh, Silwa has done a super chat saying, I've finished my Lego orchid now, and it looks great if I do say so myself. Part of the flower is made out of pink toads, which I loved. So that apparently is the hallmark of one uh, Lego creator in particular, the same person who did the bonsai tree. They always get... Uh, frogs into the mix somehow, which is very cute, I think. Uh, him. Shut up, Hildy. Oh, there's a man sat down. Alright. Look, bang some sausages in the oven and then go see what the old coot wants. Alright, mop that up, mate. Come on. I mean, the good news is that, like, you just learn to completely prioritise Hildy, because let's face it, her hut These people are so impatient. If they don't want sausages, we're cooked. We're done. We're gonna turn ourselves in. Ah, oh, they just want sausages. Yes. Fucking assholes. Come on. Ah, oh, you know what? The tailoring thing. I know he's killing people, but that's just a vanity project, really, for him, isn't it? Meat's probably not that expensive. I literally couldn't serve them the food any quicker. And this woman's in the way! Get out of my way! I couldn't serve them that any, any faster. At all. Okay, they seem happy. But it was a close run thing. At least we're getting lots of business in the killing floor today. Oh my god. People are getting impatient. I'm just going to have to serve them just meat disc. No, Hildy! The table was the biggest mistake of my fucking life. Yes, do you do something, man? The table. Jesus Christ. Look, that guy's sighing. He's annoyed. Oh, they're leaving the restaurant. Don't leave. Stay there all day. Oh, it's last clients, thank God. Oh my god. This guy's really fucked off, isn't he? Just eat, go on, sod off. You paid 90p, 90p, because all I had time to make you ingrates. Oh, I've never been so annoyed. Oh, that table. And we don't have enough money to hire the boy. What could we get to calm people down? Increase clients' patience. Gin will reset your clients' patience. We need the extra hand. We're going to save up. We'll have impatient clients for one more day. We'll get the boy, then we'll get the gin. First we get the boy, then we get the gin, then we buy the flowers. That's what we'll do. Right now, I know we've got a letter to read, but I'm just going to sort out the shop. 
Andrew Rogers, who doesn't want me to be happy, says, get another table. Andrew. <sighs> Fucking hell. Oh. I was having such a lovely time. And then suddenly, boom, there's a table full of people who want things. Before, they were perfectly happy to walk in, buy themselves a chunk of human and fuck off. And they were all like, what a great shop, love this for me. It's really warm. Not a young man anymore. Oh, we could do with a bit more bloody compost, really, can we? Well, actually, we're fine on tomatoes. And you don't need to fertilise eggs. There are no ingredients to harvest here. It's not my fault. Have a go at me. We should fertilise whatever this is, though. Okay. Make the highest ranked recipes for self-service to increase your profits. Get the boy faster, says Colin Laster. All right. Oh, look, yeah, they do have ratings. People love lasagna. Of course they love lasagna. People don't like meatloaf that much. Goddamn right. It's fine. Yeah, it's going to be... We're going to be an all-lasagna restaurant tomorrow. Did you hear that, Hildy? Get your flour back out. Sorry I made you put that back. So Perzalot says apparently it helps to get some negative reviews because it means that fewer customers storm the place and the game doesn't end very fast. Interesting. Titan Uranus says, what if the mystery plant is a carnivorous plant? Plant? It's possible. Feed me, Percival. Baking time. Look, I've got two ovens. Imagine, imagine me being able to use two ovens. That would have been the dream. But now I was, I was running upstairs and people were like, I want sausages. Where are my sausages? Bastards. <sighs> Shaz the Great and Powerful says, Guys, gals and non-binary pals, please tune in for Johnny experiencing the consequences of their actions. But the thing is, my, the only action I regret today was buying a table. What a dreadful thing that was. Ooh. Right, well, at least we've... The plant still needs fertilizer. All right, should we keep doing it? Let's do, give it some more. Fuck it, why not? We're fine on tomatoes. Oh, hello. Still needs fertilizer. Oh, fuck it, why not? Oh. Well, I'll leave it for a bit now. Okay, bases are loaded in the clothes shop. It's funny, that. We're doing fine for tomatoes. Well, we could actually get these tomatoes. We need fertilizer. Don't know where all that went. As per usual, Hildy's got loads of work to do. She's going to have to make three more platters of lasagna. And you know what? If, if that means that the customers at the table get annoyed and leave, Fine. <sighs> Poor Hildy. And she's got all these bodies to grind up. Meanwhile, what's he doing? I'm moving there. He's trying to make him sound important to, comp to, 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 to uh, compensate. That's the word. Oof. Oh, Hildy. You deserve better, love. Okay. As fast as I can. Okay. Making time. time. Sean Carr says if anyone is impatient, you could always offer them a free sizing for a dinner suit. Hmm. Uh, and, and, Mr. J or whatever his name is hasn't come and picked up his bloody corpse. It's rude, so it is. Right. Oh, we are actually getting low on tomatoes. Good thing my husband's there to literally watch them ripen on the vine. Useless bastard. Go on. Oh, oh, does Hildred need to free the elevator? Oh, well. Poor you. King wanker. 
Right, now you send them down. Hildy, you're doing great, sweetheart. Honestly. And the door could be going at any time. We need to grind up some more people. Perfectly normal thing to say on a Thursday afternoon. Okay, I'm on. As fast as I can. Happy up there, are ya? No clothes need making, eh? I wonder if we can go talk to the head. Is it kind of like a future armor situation? I am not a crook. No, can't talk to the head. Okie dokie. Right, and then we just need to get those tomatoes. Okay. They're heavy. They're heavy. So, Silver Comet says this has gone from Sweeney Todd to Weatherspoons after a footy match. Wow. It feels like it, to be honest. Um, Sailing K says, how much is this game? Is it weird that I want to buy it now? It's like four pounds. It's not expensive. So, here we go. So we've got... Dan Kelleher says, I just see Johnny Vegas on an umpire's chair when you say that. God, that episode was amazing, wasn't it? Um, Okie dokie. So, oh yeah, we need to grind up some more corpses. Uh, then, we're all set upstairs, obviously. Uh, we just need to read the letter, and then, here we go. Griffin Rayner says, hello, hello. I almost never catch you live, and when I do, you're doing cannibalism. Of course. Right? I know. I just, I heard you were coming, that's all. Hey, achievement unlocked. It's not all that rusty. Oh god, that probably means I've carved up like a hundred people or something. Shashwat Sharma says, "Where is the, where's the steady stream of meat coming from? Graveyards? Um, well, right. You see this little chimney? It leads all the way up here to a trap door. So husband does the killing, drops them down there. That's where they land. In they go. Andrew Rogers actually says 350-ish, as there is about 10 off 10% off in Steam at the moment. There you go. Salen K says, don't worry, I'm staying on the stream too. Salen, if you wanted to go start your own sort of cannibal meat pie empire, I wouldn't blame you, mate, you know? Okay. Oof. Oh, I'm sorry, Watson. Andrew Weir says this is the first stream I'm watching, but I'm getting the idea that Johnny has a history of cannibalism. Good for them. It's not, I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't call it a history of cannibalism. But I have talked about it a fair amount. Anyway, okie dokie. Males. Mail number six. My dearest Rhodes, here we are with the second target. The hand of fate has fallen on my old friend Gilbert Weston. The only person who loves eating as much as I do. The other night I hosted him at my house and talked to him about your shop. I told him of the excellent food of yours and Percival's smartly tailored suits. He seemed curious right away and told me he would certainly be paying you a visit. I truly love this man. He is the brother I never had. Eating him will be my sincerest gesture of friendship and appreciation. In that moment, we will become one. J. P.S. I hope this time the process will be quicker. All this waiting is unnerving me. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I not quick enough in killing the body that you've left here for a week? Mate. Okay, right. Base is loaded. Lasagna's on the table. Hilda, you may as well go upstairs with a tray of lasagna now to restock. That may come back to bite us. If someone comes and orders before people clear out the trays, we're just going to have to take that risk. And at the end of the day, we're going to hire a child. Uh, 
Okie dokie. Right. Gaz says, I don't care how cold that attic is meant to be, that meat puppet will be on the turn by now. I know, right? If you sit down, madam, I shall kill you. Never mind my husband. Good. Oh, Colin Lasser says, don't forget to take at least one body up for fertiliser for the mystery plant. Thank you, that is a great reminder. There's, look, the system's working. Oh, someone's bought clothes. Hildy, restock, please. Oh, don't sit down. Oh, good, they didn't. Oh, no, no! Oh, fuck! Uh, what do they want? What do you want? Oh, look at all of you. As fast as I can. Oh, uh, hello, madam. Hello, madam. What do they want? Please say it's lasagna. Oh, you cheap bastards. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh for fuck. Oh, for God's sake. Right. <laughs> Tanya Rona says that body's been up almost as long as the guy in Disco Elysium. Too soon! Okay. Uh, clean up, clean up, clean up. Okay. Alright, we're just about keeping on top of this. Just. We need to make more clothes. Go, Hildy, go! Feed the fucking useless bastards their meat discs. You're eating people, nubs! Compost is getting made. Clothes are getting made. I need to go restock the lasagna. We've definitely got enough small boy money, as Gaz puts it. Alright, we're doing okay, everyone. Don't even worry about it. Hildy, restock. Make more clothes, clothes man. All right. Hildy, my love. I need you to make more lasagna. Be right there with you, madam. <laughs> I'm sorry, I need to pause for this. Samo Samori Osuni says, my brother, catching a glimpse of this stream. Oxventure man, say fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Oxventure Man not identify as man, Oxventure Man identify as non-binary, but uh, Ox Oxventure person say fuck, yeah. I, s I swear a lot when I'm uh, um, in my own channel, if I'm not gonna, if I'm, if I'm perfectly honest with you, like a lot. Okay, the men are leaving. Please don't immediately be replaced with others. That would be dreadful. Oh, Hildy, 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 Hildy! Come on. <laughs> Same case as Lux Venture person say fuck quite a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. The body goes down the chute. The lasagna goes in the oven. Oh, good. Here comes another table. Hildy, 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 Hildy. Oh, wait, wait. On the way up. On the way up. Septimus1026 has done a super chat saying, isn't buying a child a form of slavery? It's not like the ethics of it are any concern. I like to think that we're hiring him, actually. As fast as you can, Hildy. Do you fucking want lasagna? And we got one in the oven? Finally, some people of class. Clean up the blood, sir. Come on, Percy. Ah! Oh. Oh, chaos says table la 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 for four. <laughs> Please, I can't. My heart can't take it. All right, we're on last clients, so hopefully, no one's gonna want more lasagna by the end of the day because we're almost out of it. But we've made bank today. We, a hundred and seven pounds and fifteen pence. Happy reviews from everyone. Okay. As fast as I can. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, this came all right, actually. Leon Brooks says, Johnny, I'm a huge fan of your Dark Souls and Bloodborne series with Ephron Eurogamer, and I'm sw and I swear you could give Zoe Delahunty Light a run for her money when it comes to swearing. Oh, I know. <laughs> ah, who is this? Oh, good lord, stay calm, beast. What? Why are you saying that? Hi, I'm sorry, but we're closed. I'll be opening up soon. I still need to finish cooking. Oh, my dear, I'm sorry. I'm Mr. Gilbert Weston. I was told that you were a skillful cook. Maybe my request will shock you. But I would like you to cook the beast in this cage. My dog's birthday is approaching. And I would like to feed him this little hell beast. Ah, so you are Mr. Gilbert. It's a pleasure to meet you. You can call me Hildred. Do we know each other, Miss Hildred? Oh, no, no, no. I've heard your name from some of my customers. Anyway, what kind of small animal is in that cage? Please take a look. It's a cat. I bought it to catch the rats in my warehouse, but it just sleeps and eats a complete waste of money. A cat? Mr. Gilbert, um, I must say that he seems to be sick. Yes, definitely sick. This poor animal will die soon. You shouldn't feed it to your dog. He'll get sick too. Oh, for goodness sake! Good thing you told me this, Hildred. If you want, I can take care of him, so he won't be a bother to you anymore. That would be great! Thank you very much. You'll be doing me a huge favour. And remember to make that beast suffer. Goodbye, Mr. Gilbert. Cat acquired. This cat is lovely. Percival and I were used to having many in our house. I miss having one. Surely somebody will suffer Mr. Gilbert and it won't be this little cat. Uh, surely... Someone will surely suffer Mr. Gilbert and it won't be this little cat. All right, we have a cat now. Yeah, we have cat now? Oh, poor boy, he was terrified. You are free now, Kitty. No one will hurt you. Who knows? Maybe if I get a comfortable couch, you'll come back and stay with me. Okay, what if he's on the way to tell the police? Hmm. I suppose he's a cat, not a rat. Ha 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 ha. Right. Oofed. Well, I'm glad you're doing all right, Percival. Oh, it's hard work being Percival. Ooh. Oh, I just make clothes. Wah, wah, wah. Mary201W says, are we, are we doing a good thing now? No. I don't think we are. Right, Hildy, the people of London want lasagna. Emma Benton says, cannibalism we can excuse, but we draw the line at animal cruelty. Well, exactly. Okay, this is a masterpiece. Let's go grow some more tomatoes, because Lord knows we like them in our lasagna, don't we? And we're going to hire a boy. And whatever upgrades we deem to be sensible. All right. Hildy, we need more lasagna. As fast as I can. Titan Uranus says, boy for sale. One boy. Boy for sale. He's going cheap. Have you ever seen as nice a boy for the... Griffin Rayner says, yes, because there was no animal cruelty in Weird West. Fair enough, yeah. Whoopsie. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, we still need to make more lasagna. What are you doing? Oh, you're just watching more tomatoes grow, are you? What this? Go on. Grow, you little monster. Have you ever seen as nice? Making lasagna out of people. They don't mind because they're dead now. As fast as 
I can. Baking time. Baking time. All right. That can go down here. Spoon of Doom says, "Should we talk about the birds in God of War in terms of acts in terms of animal cruelty?" Listen, you can't just bring up things that I've done and put on the internet whenever it suits you. We're talking about ravenous devils, not God of War. That was a completely different thing, Com totally different. Steve Gilly says, "Cannibalism lasagna, wrong on so many layers." Mwah. Amazing. Whew. As fast as I can. You doing all right there? Useless bastard. Grow some more tomatoes. Hildy needs to release the dumbwaiter. All right. Yeah, yeah. They are heavy. They are heavy. That was so imperious. They are heavy. That smells so good. They are heavy. Boop, boop, boop. Another corpse. Don't you worry, Percival. You take a load off, mate. You just chill out. Honestly. It's amazing how quickly you become inured to, like, the grossness of that animation. I just keep being like, oh, yeah, there goes another body. In they go, look. Whoop. She's so strong. Lovely. All right. Well, as soon as our diligent husband sends us more tomatoes, we'll be grand. I deserve, I deserve more money. He lied to himself. Ridiculous. Have you ever seen us not? If Christopher Lee's getting involved now. One boy, boy for sale. <laughs> He's going cheap. Have you ever seen us nice, Gandalf? A boy for sale. Come, you must keep your appointment with the wicker boy. Make one more piece of clothing, would you, Percy? Okay, right. Upgrades. Upgrades. Attendant. Hire an attendant that will serve your clients. Yes, please. That won't come back to bite us in the arse, will it? Let's see now. Increase the composter speed. No. Pigeon hoose. They shit a lot. Increase the pigeon's hatching process. Great. What else can we get? Onions are good. Let's unlock some... Well, I wanted onions. Let's unlock some onions. Booze, says Claire Bear. Oh, for... Um, oh, I can't afford it now because I bought onions. Oh, well. Another mannequin would be good, actually. Right, there we go. Oof. Okie dokie. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Boy! Hello, missies. I'm a brick wall mister. Greetings, brick wall mister. My name is Joshua. Oh, Joshua brick wall mister. Oh, Joshua, Joshua brick wall mister. I went to school with his brother, I believe. Uh, Robert Baumbach has done a super sticker of uh, a Shiba Inu with like glittery eyes and sparkles around its head going like clapping in quite a cute sort of like puffy cheek kind of way uh, and there's some text that says bravo which I think is nice because we've hired the boy I was Elliot's assistant but Baddy Wrongleg says is this Jay? oh that would be interesting I don't work for him anymore he disappeared Dan Kelleher says, of the Somerset Brick Warmisters. Yes, you know them. Tell me, do you know Hattie? People come and go all the time. The kind of Mr. Percival told me that. I could work, I've worked here the last, uh, blah, blah. Helping hand in the pub. I'll do anything you ask, Mom. Come with me, I'll explain everything. 
This is where... Ah, Gaz says Joshua Brickwall Mister of the Westminster Brickwall Misters. No, no, not those ones. We don't associate with the Westminster Brickwall Misters. This is the expositor. Clients will take what they desire from it. You just need to put every meal I deliver you on here. Fine. I'll send you meals using the dumb what here back there. It's pretty easy, right? Yes, I understood. You also need to be able to remember to take orders from tables. I'll cook what they want to eat and I'll send you everything. In case you are really busy, prioritise clients at tables. Ugh. They are worth more money to us. Fine. All right. I'm really fast, Hildred. I can handle this. Last but not least, the gin. I would like to buy a barrel of that for the clients in the future. We can serve it to clients at tables when they start to get bored so that I have more time to get everything done. That's it. Okay, I can manage this. Do you need any help in the kitchen? I was forgetting the golden rule. I forbid you to come into the kitchen. Keep that in mind or I'll fire you. Oh, don't worry. I won't come down. Perfect, I like you. We'll do great work together. Doc Zark has done a super sticker. It's of a giant pear. The pear's got arms and legs and a face and hopes and dreams and sweat glands because it's sweating because it's got uh, two dumbbells and it's pumping them while pumping its little legs with the text keep it up thank you doc Zuck. i will keep up this criminal enterprise we've made a child into our accessory now i'm sure about it okie dokie well this is great hildy no longer needs to razz it upstairs maybe my life is getting a little easier after all maybe okay we've got onions now let's have a look at some of those new recipes shall we recipes Sausage, tomato, onion makes for slop. I can use onions in one recipe. Well, that was worth a tenner, wasn't it? Oh, it is, in fairness, worth three stars. So that's a good thing to make. Why don't we make one in a bit? Because we can't actually... We've got no space to make anything. All right, bases are loaded upstairs. No, they aren't. Expressive, de <laughs> Expressive Depressive has done a super sticker. The super sticker depicts the pear again. Uh, the pear has acquired from where I do not know but the pear has acquired another mug full of blood and is just repeatedly thrusting it toward the screen. It's quite alarming. But there we go. Onions, eh? We can grow more onions if we want them. We've only got two bits of fertiliser though. Ah, let's grow some more onions. Emma Benton says, blood for the blood god, all in caps. Onions for the onion throne. Okay. Good. Epicurean Bard has done a super sticker, this time of a lemon person. So if you imagine a lemon that has gained arms and legs and hopes and dreams and some sort of, like, wings? Because it sort of goes like, Bada! and from its shoulders, some some wings pop out that kind of look like a lemon segment which is terrifying because it kind of implies the lemon is flaying itself a bit like the blood eagle that is a myth from a viking mythology um so there's that there's the epicurean bard sends that lemon selena steel has sent the pear again this time the pear is giggling as if to say Ooh, i'm so naughty uh, which makes sense, because one breaker box has sent a super sticker. Subsequently, it is, we can only assume the same pair. How likely is it that there are two pairs with arms, legs, opposable thumbs, a face, a sports headband, some white trainers, and in the case of the latter sticker, a mug full of blood? But perhaps Selena Steele wanted to show us the pair giggling away because it knew it was about to, to pop up, thanks to one breaker box, with a mug full of blood, and start slushing it all over YouTube. We may never know. I'm afraid to find out. There we go. All right. We are... Oh, we've got a whole fucking letter to read. Stop writing to me! Oh, thank God. As you may already have noticed, I choose my victims meticulously, playing close attention to their... paying close attention to their lifestyles. The meat must be of the highest quality, so it would never have crossed my mind to eat at your place. Everyone in town fuck you. Everyone in town seems to be satisfied with so little. I'm sure Hildred must be an expert with seasoning and toppings. The meat must be of the highest quality. 
You've left, you left the, you, the first guy's still there. Still there. You sent me like half a dozen. One, you sent me three, well, you sent me four letters since he died. Weird man. Weird man. Yikes. Okay. Right. Bases are loaded. The child is behind the desk. We may open the shops. Ah, oh, one breaker box says, I've been wanting to send you a super chat for so long, Johnny, and now you read it. I'm crying from joy. Oh, that's really lovely. I'm uh, glad it, it, it cheers you up. Um, oh, why does no one come in, first thing? Epicurean Bard uh, says, super chat saying, Jay is allowing the meat to be dry-aged. Grim! Um, but yeah, no, one breaker box, that's really lovely of you. Don't sit down. Thank God. Hope you like lasagna, lads, because that's always selling. Hello, sir. Just going to replenish this mannequin. Yes, I know you need cloth. Yeah, you just stay there, sir. I like this, like this colour. All right. Uh, we're three out of six. Let's dumb weight this lasagna. See how well the boy really does. And then... Ugh, someone sat down. Boy! Boy! Boy? Oh, I have to click for the boy? No, the boy's meant to be auto boy. Boy! The table boy! Oh, maybe maybe there aren't other people there yet. Well, uh, I'm going to put that meat back just in case. Oh, for Christ's sake! Boy, go to the table! Theresa M has done a super sticker. It's of the pair. The pair is laughing maniacally. The pair's having a right good chortle. Boy! That mu she must be waiting for people. You sit down with that lady and eat dinner. Oh fuck you! Look, you've got to you've got to order something or leave, madam. Honestly, uh, so like I said, Teresa M. The center super sticker of the pair having a bloody great time, chortling away, really yucking it up. So it is. Right. Well, while we're waiting for there, you are. Ah, oh, so glad you could make it, sir. What do they want? In the meantime. Eternal Space Witch has done a super sticker of the... Yes! 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 They want the sausage thing! That's what I was going to make! Uh, the Eternal Space Witch has done a super sticker of the... 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 The pair. Seemingly, like, drunk on blood. Like, just kind of, like, swaying, being like, Cool, great. Like, eh. I think it's overdone it, if anything. Okay, this is actually going pretty well. Uh, apart from... Uh, Taylor Man... Oh, Taylor man, where are you going to run to? Here we go. Here we go. Kill, kill, kill. And then, dumbwaiter, dumbwaiter, dumbwaiter. Send it, send it, send it, send it, send it. Yep. Okay. There's Yes, there is blood everywhere. Okay. Ooh. Go, 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 go. Go on, boy. Serve them. Do they like it? They should. Was that only an okay rating? That was mega f- oh no, they're happy. I was going to say, that was mega fast. It was dead quick. Ah, uh, dead quick. It's funny. Right, okay. Oh, we sh well, yeah, we do need fertilizer. Okay. Uh, make some clothing. Yes, I know you need a piece of fabric. Pick one up. Asshole. Okay, uh, Hildy, I need you to make more lasagna. It's what sells. And it sells well. Hello, sir. I'll be right with you. Just take a moment. Possibly your last. To think about your life. Have you enjoyed it? I hope so. Because it's over now, isn't it? Good lad. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So that. Yep. Uh, upstairs with that one, actually. Don't tell Hildy. Heldy, you need to dumbweight this. Yep, there we go. Last clients. Oh, the days go so fast. fast as I can. Right, now you get down there and you bucket up some blant. Oh, there it is. There it is, everybody. There's the door. The dog's going wild. I'll be right back.
fly. Don't fly. Stop. Shh. Shh. Shush. Hush. Okie dokie. All right. Hi. Did everybody hear Watson doing a weird whine like a dolphin that's getting electric uses? Because <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> okay, here we go. And in. And out. And in. And out. And back to work. What was I doing? Ah, fuck. More customers. I hate them. Thank God we just restocked. What do they want? What do they want? What do they want? Hildy? Hildy? Okay. Ah, oh, they want lasagna. People of taste. Finally. Samori so Osuni says, like a dolphin being what? Electrocuted. You know, like... You know, a really unhappy dolphin. Like, <laughs> look at them. Look at how impatient they get. As fast as I can. Emma Benton says, "Why do you know what a dolphin being electrocuted sounds like?" I don't know, but that's how I imagine it sounds. Also, these people, right? They want they want lasagna, but oh no, they don't want the, the lasagna that's there in the servitoire or whatever. They want fresh lasagna. I hope you're eating someone you knew. Emma Benton says that's an oddly specific sound to be casually mentioning. I've heard it a lot. I've had a lot of time to think about this particular noise, you know? Five years I've had this, Doug. Five beautiful years. Okay, okay, ah, oh, just okay, is it? Yeah, we need to buy some gin. Bloody hell. Ingrates. Anonymous says, customers give you money. That is a good thing generally. They give me hassle, is what they give me. That's what they give me. As fast as I can. <sighs> Look at them eating their, their sullen faces. Wankers. This little child works so hard. Look at you. Oh, that wasn't great. Pay me. Honestly, right, we're buying a barrel of gin. Titan Uranus says, says, oh, you've had a lot of time with your dog making that noise, not with dolphins. Yeah, I've never heard a dolphin being electrocuted. This is what it sounds like. Anyway, right. Oh. Lucentia says, this is a person who has worked in retail behind a bar. Uh, and in a pub kitchen, actually. That was the worst. At half, like, the kitchen took last doors at half nine, and sometimes people would come in and 
at 9.15. It'd be like, can we get, for starters, it's like, for starters, you bastards, you cruel people, have you no homes to go to? And they'd order tapas as well, which wasn't, you know, it was good for the pub. It was quick to serve. It made them good money, but it just meant that I got back loads of ramekins that were just full of, like, oil that would immediately make my dishwater just a mess. So if somebody ordered tapas, I could have just made it, I could have just drained the sink and refilled it with hot soapy water. And they'd be like, tapas! It's like, great, I need, to, I need to wash these specifically, then I need to do another sink of water. Did they care? No. I didn't give a shit. <laughs> anyway. Oh. Oh. There's just so much for Hildy specifically to do. You know? Meanwhile. What's that awful smell? Oh. I think a cat has pooped. Ian Carter says, what a fancy pub kitchen, what had starters? I know, right? The worst, actually, was when, oh, people would order tapas as a main. Because then you get double the mannequins. So many kins. Right, how are we doing on tomatoes? Not great for tomatoes. Good on fertiliser, though. Oh, we got some onions now. Oh. Jap Jack escaped the box again, said, Hi Johnny, I hope you're well. Long day and month. Uh, long day and long month on the horizon. What are we playing? We're playing Ravenous Devils. It is a game about killing people and turning them into food. Or fertiliser. <clears throat> ah, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? I know you need your f hands fucking free. Oh, wait, no, you need to... All right. Gaz says, is the magic seed ready? No, it needs more fertilizer. Oh, it is growing though. Okay, Hildy's ground some stuff. We need more lasagnas. Hildy, go get your onions. Okay. Um, tomato's nearly ready. Hildy's got her onions. Tomato's nearly ready. Okay. Uh, right. It never stops. I know it's, it's solely me that's turned this into exclusively a lasagna restaurant, restaurant but... Still. Sarah Burke says, I remember the dish pit. So many people, so many cooks, time flies. I got really good at dodging things coming, flying into the sink from different different directions as different chefs would put stuff in the sink, which was fine. Like, it was actually useful, but it was weird at the same time. Andrew Rogers says, we're discovering it's really a game about how we deal with the bad choices of buying a table. Ain't that the truth? All right, lasagna... If I make three lasagnas, I am gambling on the f idea that at least three pies will be sold. Uh, where are you going? Before the first sit-down customers come and order? I think that's going to be all right. I think that's all right. Can you get another prep table down there? Oh, I can. Yeah, can probably afford one now, can't I? Okay. Oh, leave the third in the oven, says Tom B. Ah, but you need the platter. The platter goes in the oven is the problem. So you can't prepare things while it's... Okay. Brad the Mad said Hildy needs the miracle tailor mop in her kitchen. She's practically drowning in 
in blood. There is quite a lot, isn't there? Okay, so gin barrel, that's what we need. So let's get it. Reset the client's patience. Uh, in the kitchen. We've got, no, we've got all the workbenches we can handle. Uh, we can get a cat for 30, 30 pounds if we want. We could upgrade the sausage stuff. I don't really see the point. Let's get more decorations, increase their patience. Or we could get more space in the display. That's, oh, we can't afford it. Okay. Yeah, more space in the display, I think, uh, would be great. We, you know what, we just got a gin barrel. We don't need more decorations as well. We're saving up for more space in the display. That's what we're doing. Okay. Eto Perinka says, Oh, Johnny, you've made me buy this bloody game. Now my hubby is scared. I hope you have fun with it. So I'm not buying the cat yet, everybody who's asking me to buy the cat. I'm sorry. <laughs> At least they're not rotten. Like the guy who's just chilling out up here. He's extremely, he must be extremely rotten by now. Zega Genesis says, Why not? Because I want more space in this displays upstairs. That's what I want. The best ingredients for my recipes. The best ingredients for my recipes. Right. I'm giving him one more fertilizer to our plant here. So I want to know what it does. Give him one more. We're going to grow more tomatoes. Zeggy Genesis says, but cat. Silver Comet says, cat, 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 damn it. Listen, these are all eloquent arguments. I'm just saying, no. For the time bit, for now. Just for now, no. We've got unlimited gin for £35. Even in old money, that's pretty great. Right, okay, here we go. So help me, it's time to open up those doors. I've got a friend who um, builds festivals. He's a, uh, a chippy, but he also helps design them and he sort of builds music festivals. He goes to different places all summer and basically just makes festivals happen. And he always tells me that his least favourite bit is when they open the doors to the festival and all the people come into his lovely festival site and they don't leave for several days. Because <laughs> he spends weeks at each one. So obviously he's used to them. They're his little kingdom. And then people come in they're like whoa, whoa, whoa. And he's like go away it's very funny anyway here we go jack escaped the box again says low on meat well yeah we've got to kill some more people we used them all up we didn't fine on residual meats griffin rainer says why have we wronged the cat we haven't wronged the cat we were asked to cook the bloody cat right here they come Come on in, you bloody... Yeah, go on. Have your lasagna and fuck off. You loyal customer bastard, you. Oh, d look at this fucking chucklehead. Oh, I'm going to sit down. Sedentary Wanderer says, how about the hanging guy for me? He's a story corpse, actually. Great. Great. They're making an order. The gamble didn't pay off. Kid's got to restock the thing before I can make anything. Oh, they just want meat. Lo oh, no, wait. It's all right. They just want meat loaf, do they? Silver Comet says, you're not going to get the cat now to spite us, aren't you? Well played. I'm going to get the cat. I'm just going to get other things first. As fast as I can. Come on, you. Time to do some... Oh, shit. I think someone left when they could have been murdered. Forgot about the whole murder aspect of this game. Right. Come on. Cook. Oven. Cook. I just... It, it upsets me that to get a mediocre... No. Mediocre review for something that I literally couldn't cook any faster. You know? Right. You bloody make some more clothes as well. One of you come in here, please. Uh, 
Ahem. <clears throat> you do need to clean, sunshine. All right, they are actually quite happy. Oh, yeah, why didn't we gin them? Maybe we did gin them. Right. You, my dove, need to make some lasagna. You need... There's blood, There's blood everywhere. Uh, Tammy Boy has done a super chat saying, I'm so glad Oxtra sent me over. I'll have to go as I have a blaze in the dark game at eight and need dins. Thanks for the show and happy cannibalizing. You're very welcome. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, it's really nice when people just go, yeah, all right, I'll go watch that. It's like, it, wa it warms me a little heart. So it does. I'm very grateful to Oxtra for sending you over. So yeah, have a good dins. Have a lovely blaze in the dark. I hope you avoid stress. I'm running a game of Aegon at 8. Well, 8.15, realistically. There's no way I'm going to jump straight in. As fast as, I can. as fast as I can. Right, you've got some mopping to do. Okay. Ah, oh, another table. Will it ever end? Go away. What do you want? If you People will like this. Will like this. What do you want? If it's not lasagna, you should go away. They do want lasagna! Fucking amazing! Yeah, 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 yeah. Send that shit straight over, boy. Yeah! Review my restaurant, you little bastards. Uh. Yes, of course you're happy. It's lasagna, ingrates. Speaking of lasagna, need to make some more. We're getting on for last client's time, which is great. Oh, yep, yeah, corpse, clean that up. Oh, we do need more fertilizer. Oh, we need more corpses. I can't believe I let one go earlier. Worrying. Stephen Paul says, I made it to live. How's it going? It's going all right, thanks. Killed a lot of people. Turned a lot of people into meat. Uh... Percival's um, still here. No, he's doing alright, really. I mean, he's got nothing on his mannequins. Which is suspicious for a tailor shop, isn't it? Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, here we go. What are we talking about? Who's coming in? Is it our second client friend? Oh, no, it's not. Ooh. It's the lady. Hello, I'm sorry to bother you. I know you're still closed, but I need something to drink. Oh, welcome back, darling. Sure, please sit. I'll get you some of our gin. Ooh. Claire de Bear says, please, can we have more of this? I might be up for doing a bit more of this. It's a fairly easy game to explain to people. I'm sorry you had to go last time. I'm sure we can go back to Percival at any moment. He must have some time for you. Oh no, don't worry, I don't need that dress anymore. Why the long face? Is there something on your mind? I've been thinking a lot lately. Do you ever wonder what lies beyond death? Only those who, are, who have enough to eat each day of their lives can afford to ask themselves such a deep question. With all due respect, of course. Bloody hell, Hildy. But you must have some kind of an idea. What's going to happen to your soul? If it makes you any happier, I think death is just the absence of life. A dark void... And as for my soul, ha ha ha, I don't think there's much I can do about it. I understand only darkness. Anyway, if I were you, I would concern myself with more worldly thoughts right now. Your bill, for example. You have an eternity to think about death. Well, that was comforting. Yeah, take the rest of the bottle. Whoop, 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 whoop. Your thoughts don't help me at all. Darkness frightens me. Okay. Oh, boy, you didn't have to see that. I'm sorry. Maybe the golden rule should be I'm not allowed upstairs. Okay. Oh, we've made loads of money, though. As fast as, as, fast as I can. Hello, Watson. You're a good girl. Uh, right, let's dress the mannequins. Moving there. That goes in the dumbwaiter. Bloody hell. Right, make some more things. Got some more tomatoes, that's good. Uh, oh, we haven't loaded the bases completely with... That's fine, that'll just have to... That's fine. 
We do not have much meat left. We've got a lot of sausages. Tomorrow we pivot to sausage. That's not what I meant to say. Let's... Right. Here we go. Right. We're going to make the other top-rated meal, which is sausage marto onion. Okay. Good. Lucanthia says, we need so many more corpses than we do clothes. I know. It's partly the... Um, Partly the fertilizer that's the problem. But the fertilizer helps make the lasagna, which makes the money! Anyway, we do have one more corpse here, so that's good. Angel Beat says, Was it the worst thing you could have said? Very good. Loved that. It's really warm. Okay. really warm. Right, so we've got... Okay, we've got an alright quantity of meat. Not a super abundant, but enough. And we accidentally let one go today, so we'll just have to not do that. Okay. Uh, right. In fairness, we're starting to need cloth as well. Hilde? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Titan Uranus says, well, they can't all be bangers. Very good. Who wants a banger in the mouth? Uh. I like this color. Right, one more sausage surprise. The surprise is it's people. <laughs> then we'll look at upgrades. I need to grow more onions. No, we've got onions. We need to harvest the onions and the tomatoes. There's just so much more to this game than killing people. Do you remember when it was just, oh, that's a dead person. There'll be a pie. Oof. Paul Howarth says, thank you for the stream. Alas, I must be away. Laters all, stay safe and have fun. Take care, Paul. Thank you very much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Okay. Mario, uh, Mary201W says, at least Hildy doesn't mince her words. Very good. As fast as I can. She's just so... What's the word I'm looking for? It's not sultry. But she is, she's putting, trying to put, she's putting, like, libido in there. Do you know what I mean? I deserve, more. I deserve more money. You only... Lucanthia says, I almost missed the corpse pile. We had so many spare bodies for later and now there aren't enough. <laughs> Chance Huber says, posh. <laughs> Theresa M says, sassy. Yeah. Brad the Mad says she's the Nigella of cannibals. There it is. That's it. The micro wave. Moving there. Get to the point. Okay. Sausages all there. Boy in place with lasagnas. Onions growing. Tomatoes. Ready. Mm, tomatoes need to be growing as well. Griffin Rayner says, maybe she is sul sultry. Don't kink shame. I'm not kink shaming anybody. I'm just saying she's 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 putting something into it. Vlogel Hinge says she's saucy, obvs. That's it. She is sauce. Saucy. Sammy Joy says, I missed the BT times before table. You know what? I do feel like we... Like, I think I bought the table sooner than I wanted, but actually, uh, we'd be we'd absolutely be ready for it now. I accept I accept table. Let's have a look at upgrades though. I'm not getting another table. Fuck off. More space in the display would be great. We did talk about that before. 
Uh, let's see. Composter speed. Uh, no, that's fine. Increase the pigeon speeds. Should we do steaks? Unlock a table to make some steaks. Oh, Christ. Wait, no. Let's just do potatoes. <laughs> Lucentius says, How are you for eggs? How long do they take to spawn? Bloody ages. Bloody ages. Oh, everyone's saying cat. Well, one person's saying cat. But now I've said it, everyone's going to say cat. Uh, let's see. Can't get any faster ovens. Sausage stuffer produces more sausages. That would actually be pretty good. Let's do that. I'll get the cat. You're welcome. Uh, should we get more decorations? Really wanted more space in the display. We'll get some more decorations. Fine. Uh, okay. Rick Deckard's gun says, Hi, chat. Hi, Johnny. Hello. I hope you are all right. New recipes unlocked. What do we got? We've got... Aha! I wondered if this might be the point. We can cook rats. Uh, we can also cook... Sausage... Ah, oh, we can do sausages and chips. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Sausages and chips. That's it. Not sausages and chips and beans, but sausages and chips. We've got one egg. And we've got two potatoes. <laughs> Baddy wrong leg says, Gala pie? Doesn't seem to be an option. Weird. Guess it hadn't been invented yet, actually. Griffin Rainer says, No, don't cook rats. I know. I'm sad about it too, to be honest. I really like rats, but... These pigeons are shit. Lay some eggs. Okay. We really need some potatoes. We're doing all right on the old onions. Onion, 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 onions. There are no ingredients to take in the elevator. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Recipes. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, Ace Gialdi says fried rat is a three-star dish. Looks like that's pretty good, isn't it? Okay. Titan Uranus says, but can you make ratatouille? Ratatouille makes me cry every single time. I love that film. Okay. Harvest these. You have to fertilize the pigeons to get eggs. I'm not feeding pigeons. Shit. What? You have to. F Who ever heard of fertilizing pigeons? Oh, you perverts. Oh, you weird creatures. No, I don't like that. Don't like that at all. At least they're not rotten. At least they're not rotten. All right, we're getting there. Potato man! Where have you been? They're heavy. Oh, they're heavy. You can lift, Pete. You know what? That's fine. If you want to play the dame about it, fine. But we all know you've got the core strength to handle one box of potatoes, Hildy. <sighs> Emma Benton says, Really? This is what upsets you? In a game where we both murder, cook and eat people? This is the hill you die on? Yes! Pigeons don't eat shit, Emma. You don't. They don't need fertilizer. They need grain. Ah, oh. right. At least we got some eggs. Is this the hill you're dying on? Yeah, it makes no fucking sense. I'm not laying anything until I've eaten some shit. What? So Perzalot says to get rats, you have to hug the cat. Okay. Hello, cat. I love you. You are a good hunter. hunter. Alright. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. 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 I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna need 
more fertilizer. All right. It's another day in this hell we've made for ourselves, running two successful businesses. Open them up! God damn it. You get down there, my son. Those potatoes can wait. Right. Here we go. Oh, you sit down and I'll break your knees. He's bought something. Here we go. Go, go, go. Not time to restock yet. I like this colour. Yes! Pop that on there. Hello, sir. Right, now it's time to restock. Give him the sausages. Corpse goes. Blood ah, bloody. Alright, what do they want at the table? Please. Ah, oh, they want sausage and chips. Bastards. Sausage. <gasps> There's a rat. There's a rat. Yeah, good hunter. Chips. <laughs> Who MD says, Welcome home, good hunter. Okay. Hit him with the gin, my boy. Oh. Guess you should prepare the order for this table. Oh, she's hitting him with the gin? No, she's not. Go get the order. How do I hit him with the gin? Get the food! Hildy! Shit. Hit him with the gin. Oh, I've got some gin. Fuck, I've just got gin. Give him the gin! <laughs> Give him the gin! Give him the bloody gin! <laughs> Here's some gin! Fucking hell. Jennifer McLean has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, long time lurker. First time message. I wanted to say thank you to you and all the LSPs. Life has been a lot and you bring you all bring a lot of light to the dark... Uh, sorry, you all bring a bit of light to the dark days. Join late, so heading back to the start. Jennifer... Good luck. It's one hell of a stream. But um, I am uh, very, very glad that I and the rest of the lovely Skeleton Pals can uh, make things, like, a little less bleak uh, during those days. Kill the woman! Oh, Johnny! You're almost out of clothes. You're almost out of meat. Oh, what? Oh, you got too het up with your business. You're almost out of everything. You're a failure, Johnny. Anyway, right. Jennifer, let's start again. Um, hi. Uh, thank you so much for the kind words of the Super Chat. It genuinely does mean a lot. Because uh, things have been a lot, for, I think, for a lot of people recently. But um, I think it's very nice that people can also pull together and help one another out. I think that's, like, a lovely thing. And I'm so glad that you've been a long-time lurker. Um, and, yeah, uh, thank you very, very much. Again, for the, the superb chat. All right. Right. This goes up there, too. Oh, this has not been a bumper day. Lean times. Lean times. You know what? Actually, put the body back down. Put the body down. Put the body down. Put it down. Oh, I've sat it down in the corner. That's harrowing. Hello, madam. Oh, am I pleased to see you. Hi there. Hi. Yes, if you need your hands free... Drop whatever it is you're doing. Hildy, Hildy, Hildy. Uh, there's not much time. There's blood, there's blood everywhere. everywhere. Oh, actually, Hildy, we're doing fine for food. Never mind. I'm full of it. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, here we go. And to that we add an onion. And to that we add a... Uh, Uh, to that we add a tomato. Then we just bang that in there. And they want meatloaf, is it? Well, no accounting for taste, I suppose. Also, I thought if people put egg in meatloaf, people... No, wait, is it that you have to put egg in meat meatloaf? 
Or are you not meant to put egg in meatloaf? I cannot, I cannot for the life of me remember. Well, I tell you what, the clothes have been selling great today. Can't fault old Percival for those. Come on. Up it goes. B. Romals 376 says, I put egg in my meatloaf. There you go. You heard it here first, everybody. Patrick Long says, of course there's a cannibal restaurant sim. Welcome aboard, Patrick Long. Okay, meatloaves do commonly have egg in them. Okay. Oh, no, that's right. I once made burgers and people were like, get the egg out of there, you meatloaf making prick. Uh, yeah, people really weren't happy about that. I just need one more person to come in and volunteer themselves. Because I'm out of fucking fertiliser. <gasps> means we're going to be... We've got no more tomats. Come on, one more... There must be one person who fancies a last-minute fitting today. Uh-oh. Emma says I clipped it. What did you clip? Oh, no. Uh, right. So, uh, to be honest with you, once this day is over, in the game terms, I should call this stream... Uh, to a close. Ugh. All right, we got one mixed order. Whatevs. Who who gives a monkeys, eh? We've got plenty of money. We've not got any more mail to read out. Um, that was uh, that has gone extremely fast. But that was four hours of uh, Ravenous Devils, a game which is ludicrously inexpensive uh, and really very very good fun. It is daft but also challenging and yeah it's like I'm very I've, I've had a great time playing that hopefully you've enjoyed watching it um, we might do this again we shall see how we feel um, but uh, either way I'm so glad that you could join me on this most cursed and most channel appropriate of journeys uh, I will catch you very soon um, I will be back uh, on the channel on Saturday with new episodes of Press and Ikea DD. Um uh, I also have a Patreon. Emma Benton has stuck a link in the chat. It's patreon.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. But um, as I'm aware that some of you may be sort of maybe watching for the first time, having been sent over here by Oxtra, um, thank you so much for watching. It would mean an awful lot if you could maybe maybe hit that subscribe button, maybe drop a little like on this thing, because I've been doing this for a whole year now, and I love it. Um, and the subscribers are ticking up. They're ticking up, just little by little. But basically, the more lovely Skeleton Pals, which is the name we have for our community, the more lovely Skeleton Pals we can bring into the fold, the better. We've got a lovely Discord, which you can uh, gain access to by joining the Patreon, even at the very lowest tier. Uh, it's just generally a good fun time. So, uh, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, as Sarah Burke says, all hail the amazing mods. Yes, thank you very, very, very much for, for keeping everybody safe and happy. Um, you are great. I will catch you very soon. Have a lovely rest of your day, however much is left. Uh, but most importantly, I just want to say thank you for watching and goodbye! Who wants a pie for dinner? <laughs>